Okey, Assalamualaikum. Saya Zarul Hussein aka Zarul Umbrella dan di sebelah saya saya Zikir Faizah. Kembali ke podcast Borak Dalam Geli episod yang seterusnya ini merupakan episod yang paling paling istimewa. Oh. Sebabnya sebabnya apa? Ya. Yeah. Inilah first time orang yang apa cabin crew ah, bukan cabin crew dia pilot uh-huh. satu hal satu pilot. Satu hal. Satu hal lagi, dia pakai uniform. Ma. Ya. Pakai uniform betul. Eh? Masuk sini. Sebelum ni dah ada pilot tapi tak pakai uniform. Yang ini pakai uniform. Yang ni betul-betul masuk geli dia tengah lehat. <laughs> <laughs> betul juga bang. Eh? Ha. Ha. Kau pilot kat dalam. Dia pilot, masuk nak dia datang masuk. minum. Yang itu dah macam saya kena masuk dalam teman kau pilot saya ha, ni. Betul. betul. Ha. Tak apalah, tak apalah. Ada, ada. Ada seorang crew. stewardess tadi. Ha, stewardess ha, sudah ha, masuk dah. Masuk dalam ha, tu. Hamza nama dia. Okay, eh, tuan-tuan dan puan. Hamza. Okay. Tuan-tuan dan puan, saya kenalkan Captain Johan Farid Khairuddin. Khairuddin, ya. Khairuddin ataupun lebih di... Brand dia, brand dia. Captain JFK. Pum, 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 pum. Thank you, CK Faizal. Selamat datang, Captain. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, we've been planning this for so long. Yeah. Kita dapat lah. Thank you to Air Asia for arranging all this. Yes. And thank you for you guys for inviting me as well. You look great. Charming. I have seen CK Faizal from when he was small baby. Zaruk, I tell you, they are so young. Tapi Anton last still very young. They look the same on camera and in real life. Believe me. I jump right down sikit. Oh, you look great. Dia dia macam uh, pakaian macam ni adalah impian bagi setiap orang Betul. yang bercita cita really? nak jadi captain. Betul. Siapa-siapa Betul. yang ingin jadi pilot mis- yeah. bila tengok uniform tu yeah. dia cair yeah. weh. Dia, oh, oh, oh. dia macam meremang Something yang uh, uniform ni betul. Dia ada Authority. satu Ah uh-uh, dia ada satu aura yang boleh menyebabkan orang lagi suka untuk menjadi apa saja badan macam jadi askar ke, Betul. jadi polis ke, Betul. dia ada. Macam Captain sendiri. Sempat so, eh, kau nak promote filem eh, sabar. <laughs> okay, Captain, kenapa uh, you memilih bidang penerbangan untuk jadi pilot? Yes, specifically. The first time dalam hidup saya, I think 3-4 tahun dulu. Tiga uh, ataupun 4 tahun masa tu, uh, umur saya. Mm-hmm. My late mother, Miss Marsha and Josephine Nicholas, bagi saya satu buku. Mm-hmm. And the buku tu pasal kapal terbang lah. Di, kapal terbang ada sayap, ada wing, ada landing uh-huh. gear. Tiga uh-huh. tahun, 4 tahun, saya kata, eh, best lah, seronok lah tengok pasal airport semua tu. From that 3 or 4 years old, daripada tu lah, saya tahu saya nak jadi juru terbang. Tapi, Tapi. I, how lah, you know lah, berta- how expensive it is to fly aeroplane. Betul, sangat-sangat uh, mahal. Sebut je Captain RM500,000 Biasa eh, sebut easily. je yes. Itu nak dapat lesson je Tapi came to a point where I grew up in a place called Perkeliling Flats Kalau tahu mana Perkeliling Flats zaman oh, dulu-dulu uh. Yes, I, I budak Perkeliling So you can imagine I'm a single child Budak flat lah ha? Budak flat, single child raised by a single mother And masa tu, because my mother kerja kilang kat Metel, kat Klang I, I dulu kat Perkeliling, uh, Perkeliling Flats dengan my uh, late uh, grandmother And then uh, So I started lah pergi sekolah Masa kat sekolah Dari satu dia kata Eh uh, Johan nak jadi apa? Oh, nak jadi pilot And of course Ada people be like laughing lah Haha macam mana jadi pilot? <laughs> Dah lah pakai spek Gemuk pula tu Alamak Non-stop <laughs> Dari per standard 1 Standard 4 Standard 6 I think standard 5 Standard 6 I kata okay lah I don't think I can become a pilot lah Takkan jadi punya lah Lepas tu I kata okay Apa I suka buat Suka cakap Okay I nak jadi air traffic controller So from standard 6, form 1, form 2, I tulis lah Nak jadi air traffic control, air traffic control and everything Because kata, oh, I suka kapal terbang, I suka aeroplanes I love the whole flight, the, you can fly semua kan yeah. And then came to form 3, form 4, macam Okay lah, um, I think air traffic controller pun Because banyak skill tu orang perlukan Betul <coughs> So I kata, maybe I do something else lah, nak cari duit So I start lah menyanyi I dengan kumpulan VE dulu If you know yeah. I was the original 4 VE, Lah, Shah, Zaf and me So I started in 1994-95 as a singer uh-huh. Lepas tu gerak ke buat solo, songwriter, music uh-huh. producer Alhamdulillah I've written for songs for like Sheila Majid, Anwar Zain, Dayan yeah. Faiza I've written about close to 20 songs published in the Malaysian music industry Kau dengar then, tu uh, <laughs> Zaru Umbrella tak ada ya Orang tak tahu tau Orang tak tahu tau Haa uh-huh. uh-huh. Ah, so nama tu nanti kita slow-mo lah eh okay. Yang disebut seorang-seorang tu Laju ni Cap- Captain jangan risau Captain Kita punya flight kali ni ke London Oh ah. we have all the time in the world Kita yes. cakap tu Lama Kita borak je dalam geli yeah, ni Kita dalam geli ni kita borak Jadi let 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 So okay, okay. sambung 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 duk sambung balik Kau so, suka kan menyampuk Tak aku dengar nama-nama yang aku minat semua tu Okay sambung So daripada 99, 2000 Alhamdulillah I was given opportunity Untuk kerja part time dengan radio station Astro One of the stations hits 
FM Bukan sebagai announcer Tapi ha? sebagai penyampai berita Bukan penyampai berita saja Penyampai berita Trafik. internet oh. Tahun 1999 Tahun 2000 Tahu tak internet tu bukan macam internet sekarang Zaman dulu mana ada social media Zaman Betul? tu cuma ada internet website Macam GeoCities Hmm. Macam Sebelum Friendster Zarul Before you were born Sebelum Long Friendster time, Masa tu dia kena oh, pergi internet Rasa muda pula aku ha. Kata cakap macam tu <laughs> <laughs> Sebab semua Friendster uh, Friendster <laughs> and then, Tapi macam mana dia you, you you nak masuk radio Tiba-tiba you menyanyi Buat lagu And then you macam Nak masuk ah, radio Lebih secure ke radio. macam mana So dalam industri entertainment is actually very small yeah. Yeah, Zarul you know Entertainment uh. industry Is very small So I was given opportunity To kerja dengan Astro Because also an entertainment company mm-hmm. And then uh, The boss kata Hey you can You like internet You can do website masa tu I suka lah buat uh, komputer buat, buat, buat website semua ni masa tu I think I was 19 years old tak ada siapa lagi yang boleh buat internet website so I started lah buat, buat website hits.fm uh, astro.com.my so uh, programming the the big fat kid yang pakai glasses yang buat programming I was that you know tapi I suka bercakap juga so one fine day my boss masa tu dia kata hey uh, ada DJ ni Priscilla Patrick dia buat traffic zaman dulu-dulu dia kata hey I cannot go to radio it's a weekend show tak sampai because dia accident ke apa ke dia jam ke apa <laughs> Johan can you do? Bidan terjun Oi. <gasps> yes of course oh. first day of my life on the radio tekan butang tak tahu nak cakap apa I remember the song called Matchbox 20 oh. uh, dengan lagu the hit guitar yeah, I think Rush was it the name of the song tu so kuat the first time I went on the radio tak dengar suara I semua so panic fear and everything semua keluar tapi berjalan juga kan uh, the radio station didn't fall down and then after that it's been 25 years until this very day I am still on the radio <laughs> oh. you know? we all start somewhere kan betul betul so, betul Uh, bidang pilot pula macam mana bermula so bila i on the radio last time because i've always wanted to fly so i yeah. save a portion of my salary to not buat lesson lah i kata okay maybe because people have this misconception tau zaro nak jadi juruterbang ni must be airline tak juga i started Betul. flying in 2002 bawa kereta terbang kecil je yang Cessna 172 and then my yeah. idea was very simple buat lah private license tak mahal masa tu 30 40 ribu je no. bayar credit card you know no. anyway <laughs> <laughs> dapat kan ikan potong bulan-bulan. Ah, ah, tak apa boleh. So dapat lesen dan ah. I ada idea I kata eh apa kata because I'm on the radio I got friends yang ada artis-artis macam I kenal Ning Bayzura. I kenal all the artis ya. Yeah. I kata eh Harith Iskandar semua eh kau orang masuklah kapal I I bawa you pergi terbang ke LCC ke. Itu adalah ya yeah, serious. So, I, I did that lah so I kata you are baik kita tonton minyak and then I want to clock my hours kan nak jadi commercial pilot ke apa kan so I start a private license and then I kata lah eh, eh jom I bawa you pergi KLCC ke jom pergi Langkawi ke masa tu adalah Ning Baizura dulu kata eh JFK I nak buat kampung I tak nak pergi commercial flight eh, apa kata you fly I dengan my my husband wow. Okay lah I bawa you balik kampung lah I fly you myself I pick you up no hal Wow. Nak kata private flight taklah mahal. Tak lah. Lah. This is a Cessna kecil yang 172 je. Propeller tu yeah. power je lah. Then, you know? then ni 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 you. Baik lah. Oh. Ni I know you remember. I've got your picture so. <laughs> you know? Jangan tak mengaku eh ni. I, eh. I, I, I pernah ternampak you bawa Cessna tu dekat, some, dekat dalam TV program apa eh. Uh-huh. I, 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 I pernah nampak, yes, yes, yes. I, nampak you bawa tu. Masa Nanti tu you, you belum join Asia lagi. Belum. belum. This is 2002, 2003. Masa tu I uh, host untuk program Mentor TV 3. I was also host on TV sekali. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Jadi pengacara masa tu So I gunalah my my ability that I am In the network of other artists And, everything. and then I kata eh jom lah kita pergi I tong, Kita tonton minyak I pergi bawa you pergi ke Malaysia ke Ada masa tu Datuk nak hantar uh, Durian daripada KL ke uh, Dan Penang you buat ke. I bawa, bawa lah Whatever I can do to get the flying get hours, hours Because my logic is I cannot afford Sebab to go to flying school Sebab you boleh bawa passenger berapa orang je kan uh, Tak, tiga empat uh, orang, orang, orang je Ataupun kita boleh bawa kargo-kargo macam durian Whatever lah <laughs> Pergi ke Dusun I've landed in like Places like Seremban punya Land strip Masa tu private pilot Sahaja ah, You know So yeah, 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 yeah. there are limitations That what you can do yeah, Tapi my my idea was Zarul uh, CK Is what I wanted to do was I wanted to get my flight hours Up to katakan Mungkin 500 jam And then I can convert that To a commercial, commercial. Ah, So that was my idea yeah. yes, you know, yes. So I bought lah tu I bought general aviation Dia panggil For about a good 7, 8, 9 years So the cost mm. Untuk you bawa semua tu Your own tak juga ting- tong tong lah So tong-tong kata lah, kita pergi tiga-tiga ha. Okay kata jom uh, Zaro sikit Kita pergi uh, Batu Caves I round-round okay. sana okay, Kita okay, setengah-setengah okay. You play half I play half Kita round-round yeah. lah Tapi I dapat flight hours Win-win ha, ha, ha. so win, win situation lah Apa apa yang Captain JFK cakap Ni Baik Zurai bayar sebenarnya kat dia ah, 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 Dia bayar Dia bayar Dia bayar Dia bayar, <laughs> dia bayar tempat duduk <laughs> uh, Captain bayar duit minyak Duit minyak ah, Dia dapat hours Dapat hours So senang jadi commercial Kepada nak tahu Kenapa hours tu penting Untuk pilot 
boleh terang lagi tu. Yes. So to get to qualify yourself as katakan an airline pilot, you need a certain amount of hours. To qualify to become a commercial commercial pilot, you need a certain amount of hours. That's mm. why nak masuk academy ni, it's actually very expensive because you have to clock that hours dalam sekolah already. Sebelum you keluar sekolah, you kena clock mungkin I think 200 ke lebih hours on a single engine, on a on a twin engine. So that's why it costs very expensive. Masa nak buat private pilot, alah 3, 40 jam ke 50 jam cukup. Cukup eh. Yeah? And then you don't have to go to an engine, tak payah uh, study extremely hard. You know, so that was my, okay. that, that was what I wanted to do lah. Maybe, kalau nak pergi ke that shit, of course requirement kena SPF, kena AAAA semua. Okay, kalau, okay. Yang, kalau macam macam hmm. you, a bit longgar sikit ke? No, no, okay. Zaro, that's a very, very good question. Bukannya, uh, first of all, I, I'll be honest ya. Eh. Dalam SPM, saya cuma mendapat satu A je. So this is my own personal story, okay? Mm. Uh, I, I'm sure you probably understand or probably know subject apa yang saya dalam A itu lah, okay? okay. The, rest all, the rest all either fail or let's just say yang, yang minimum requirement untuk jadi seorang Credit. juruterbang ataupun minimum Nets. requirement untuk jadi uh, juruterbang di Malaysia untuk pergi ke sekolah juruterbang di Malaysia ada credit dalam SPM, maths ke bla bla. Yes. I tak ada langsung, completely out, zero. Masa okay. zaman kita dulu ingat tak ada grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, SAP, mm-hmm. SPM, ingat tak? Okay? You need certain credit to get grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, okay? Mm-hmm. Masa I SPM sijil am pelajaran sahaja SAP. So okay. dalam empat masa tu I think tahun 2003 ke 2004 ke a long time ago nak ada 14 sekolah di Malaysia untuk mm-hmm. juruterbang. Mm-hmm. Semua reject I. Semua because I tidak memenuhi kriteria untuk menjadi seorang juruterbang di Malaysia to go for the course. Okay. So I had to take a different route lagi different route to if I want to become an airline pilot. I had to save up my money and alhamdulillah I'm very thankful that after working with Astro for so long, I managed to raise enough money to also go to Australia to get my uh, airline transport pilot license in Australia. Because Australia is senang je. We don't care you tak tahu SPM ke, you tak tahu matematik ke, whatever, doesn't matter. You go there, get your license, follow the entire process. You pass, we give you the paper. We give you the, the, the certification. Yeah, we I give you the license. See. And then I had to use that to bring back to Malaysia kata, hey, I've got an international license dari yeah. Australia. Boleh tak I dapat Malaysian license? Boleh! Captain Johan, you want to become a captain and everything, okay, boleh. Tapi you kena buat all the exam papers lagi and everything, all over again. Ada 14 ke 16 papers kan? I buat semua and I pass. You are genius! Yes. But can you imagine, okay, here's the story. Bila I pergi Australia tu, nak belajar science, nak belajar matematik, uh-huh. nak belajar teori fizik semua tu kan. Mana I tahu semua ni, I suka menyanyi, melalak. Yes, <laughs> I, I tahu music je kan? So you can imagine, bila I pergi ke sekolah kat, kat Australia tu, uh, belajar the theory of how a plane flies or the theory of of clouds awan macam mana bernoli theory and everything and i am blank zaru i had to go to the library of australia cari kids section for science learn science for kids duduklah bersama 3 4 uh, budak-budak yang 4 5 tahun tu belajar buka bukulah lepas sekolah belajar sana I am not kidding. I did whatever I required to do to understand the concept. And until this very day, bila my anak nak datang, datang ke I, which is my, last week, dia kata, Daddy, how does an aeroplane fly? I can explain to you. Because I remember when I was your age, I read the same book. So, I do look, look lah. Gambar raja, kita buat eksperimen sama-sama. Tapi, it's very simple lah. The way we teach is very simple. Wow. You know? Wow, wow, so, you can imagine that that's why orang kata, eh, JFK, kenapa you take so long to become a captain? Kenapa nak jadi pilot ini sampai? I think I got my captainship. 35 tahun ke, I was my 36 years old, ada banyak yang 25, 26 sudah bukan captain kan. 22, I, kenapa I delay sampai 10 years later, kenapa I started flying aeroplanes yang commercial aeroplanes dengan Berjaya Air, dengan ATR 72 tahun when I was 31, 32. Because I spent 15 years before that saving up money, working, doing all other odd jobs just to raise the money to go fly a plane. Hmm. Yes, betul. Uh, one of my friend, Captain dekat Asia juga, hmm. uh, Captain Khairi, if you hmm. know. Hmm. Dia pun cabin crew before hmm. and then dia simpan duit sikit. Uh, dia sama dia, dia jual rumah atau something hmm. like that lah. Dia duit, duit sikit. Dia pergi ambil SPM matematik saja hmm. untuk dapatkan masuk flying school. Amazing. So, bermacam-macam cara sebenarnya betul. kalau you nak betul. jadi pilot. Macam betul. Captain JFK tadi, cara dia, dia sampai ke Aussie, simpan duit dulu. Hmm. Apa-apa, simpan duit lah kalau siapa-siapa yang orang kata kelulusan SPM yang okey-okey kan nak nak bersaing untuk masuk cadet ship tu mungkin tak lepas ada cara Betul. option dia Don't ada option dia if dia macam Don't ni give up. remember I, i always tell my children this yeah hmm. if it's important enough for you kalau dia betul-betul penting okay you will make a reason you will find a reason you do whatever it takes kalau it's not as important you will come up with an excuse 
Oh simple. Si betul. Usaha you know? tu tau bang sebenarnya bang hmm. kan. Dia definition usaha usaha usaha. So dia settlekan salah semua masalah ah. Ha. Macam oh, kan. Exam pergi settle oh, kat Australia. Duit dia kerja. Ha. Simpan, Simpan duit. Ha. Hmm. Tak ada boros lagi. Belum tu belum, belum kahwin lagi. <laughs> Girlfriend dah ada ke waktu tu? Ada tapi uh, uh, Not as expensive lah Because children nowadays are very expensive okay? <laughs> 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 Tapi okay. kalau untuk anak semua ingat Kalau saya sebenarnya Saya ada pengalaman anak saudara saya hmm. Tapi sebenarnya saya dengan kakak saya Kita orang memberimpikan Seorang anak hmm. Untuk jadi pilot Oh. Ha, sebab saya pernah jadi kru kan Tahu gaji oh, berapa Tahu okay. gaji pilot berapa Alright. Jadi kita orang dah tanam hmm. dia Daripada hmm. kecil lagi bang hmm. Dah tanam dah Ber- Saya akan beli mainan aeroplane okay. Saya akan bawa dia pergi airport okay. Naikkan dia flight sorang-sorang mm-hmm. Yang passenger travel alone mm. Bagi dia feel, bagi dia minat bagi dia Dan, minat. Ya. Dan perkara yang kedua yang kakak saya kena buat adalah Kakak saya kena pastikan setiap pendidikan dia A, 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 A. Okay. So Sikit. kita orang usaha lah Sebab kita tak tahu kadang-kadang bila dia besar Tiba-tiba dia nak jadi penyanyi kan Tiba-tiba okay. dia jadi Tapi air tanam tu menjadi Dan Alhamdulillah dia sampai besar memang dia hmm. Dan sekarang, dia sekarang Sekarang umur dia berapa? Sekarang umur dia I think 20, 21 lah Is he flying? Is cadet in Asia right now He is? Okay yeah. CK, itu, that's one of the very few uh, stories, mm-hmm. successful stories. The majority doesn't work that way. Yeah? I'll give you an example. Betul. My son is nine years old. Bila mm-hmm. dia lahir, first day, the first thing I gave him was a t-shirt says, my daddy is a pilot. That's the first t-shirt It's I bagi. It's all about you. Tak boleh lah. Dia brainwashing. I, and not only that, I keep on, uh, same like same like your... your bagi, bagi, bagi mainan. Bagi mainan, bawa airport. I think uh. my son, masa before he was three years old, he's been to like 10 countries. I, I bawa dia masuk cockpit. Ada gambar-gambar semua, okay? Uh-uh. Hari ini, dia jadi Spider-Man. <laughs> Got Roblox ke? No, which is fine. But you talked about gaji because uh. you kata I need my children to be successful. Anak bapa siapa? Anak mak mana tak nak bagi saya? Okay. But please uh. remember that the money is subjective, yeah. Betul. Yeah. And believe me when I say this, you can't. You ingat eh nak jadi pilot ni gaji besar. The bill you dapat lesson tu, it is. Believe me, it is not as big as you think. Uh-huh. Okay, betul. <coughs> and the amount, katakanlah, you whatever you earn, most of it, half of it, if not 75% percent, will go to your loan betul. to pay for it. Okay, betul. and then you'll be doing this for five, six, maybe even ten years, thinking 11 oh, no, years to pay back. Yeah, to pay back. Yeah. You're thinking, betul ke? I nak buat ni, I nak fly ni. Padahal you tu kawan-kawan you buat kereta lama begini, and like, mana dapat duit tu? Oh, orang buat business, orang main Roblox, orang buat YouTube macam Zaro. I don't know. I'm just saying there are maybe other ways. If money is your your goal, mm. there are a lot other ways and Please don't take up flying for it. And let me tell you why. I have actually flown dengan banyak banyak co-pilot. Okay, quite a few of them. Yang, eh, kenapa kurang? Why you flying? Ah, huh? okay, turn. I terbang because my mummy nak, my daddy nak, oh, my yeah. my uncle uh. nak, my father is a pilot and everything. Tapi nak jadi apa? Tu, I nak jadi artis macam you lah. Eh? Nak jadi, I, I, I believe me, <laughs> dah dapat semua tu kan? So, I tell why you fly? And you can see in when they fly, you can yeah. see, you can see their motivation, how they 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 handle it. It's like I'm doing it as a job. When it comes to our passengers. Uh, they can feel that because cara dia buat PA, cara dia buat uh, uh, how they bring themselves to the airport. You can see that that, that is a job. But there are those yang I fly with as well. Yang eh dari pergi cuma cakap lah. They really want to fly. Yeah. They see the passion behind it. Uh, mak uh. bapa kerja nelayan je, but they're flying today because Air Asia gave them the opportunity. Mm-hmm. Before yeah. Asia mana ada opportunity ni kan? Betul. And you can see until now bila dia orang buat PA uh, nak nak bercakap dengan guest dekat sebelum boarding, you can see how they talk to the children. Wih lai. Lai. You can I, I nak gusbah nak bulu rumah tengok. You can, because this is the kind of of spirit that we want in the aviation community. We mm. want people to fly because they want to fly, not because they have to fly. Mm. Mm. Tapi of course pen- Pendedahan tu kena ada lah bang. Betul, betul. Hmm. Tapi abang pernah terfikir jadi pilot ke tak sebenarnya? Uh, sebenarnya saya tak pernah terfikir untuk Sama. jadi pilot sebab saya tahu saya matematik saya. <laughs> Sama lah abang kita bang. Saya lebih kepada bidang uh, bidang kesusasteraan dan kesenian. Which is fine, which is amazing. Uh, uh, tapi uh, okay, uh, saya nak tukar topik sedikit hmm, daripada okay, topik untuk menjadi cabin crew. Sebenarnya ini POV daripada... Uh, penumpang yang selalu DM saya hmm. Bang, saya uh, takutlah naik flight Saya tak tahu kenapa Memang saya takut naik flight Saya, saya cerita my POV lah dekat hmm. dia Macam mana you, you, you buka lah You baca lah buku yang you suka Ataupun you bercerita dengan siapa-siapa kat sebelah You cerita je pasal, pasal hobi you Untuk uh, divert your apa, perhatian dekat flight hmm. Itu jawapan saya lah You as a pilot yang bawa kapal terbang Macam mana you nak jawab kepada this kind of passenger yang macam eh tak nak ai seram ai tak boleh naik kapal terbang goyang sikit ai dah ai dah anxiety 
Okay, that's a perfect question. Banyak <coughs> tanya kepada saya. Okay, Captain, saya takutlah dengan kapal terbang ni. Saya takut, uh, takut benda yang tak diingini akan berlaku ke hmm. ataupun especially bila time masuk awan ke bergegar kan. I get hmm. scared, I get anxiety kan. Hmm. It is not right for us, not as just pilots but as uh, Azure All Stars or anybody as part of the crew to assume that apa yang kita rasa, apa yang kita fear is the same thing that they should fear and the same thing that our passengers should rasa. Why I'm telling you this because banyak passengers kita uh, have different upbringing and different social status and different uh, awareness of things. Okay, So when we approach a guest yang most of the times bila boarding ni Zaru akan tahu lah, kalau orang tu naik datang ke dalam cabin you tengok dia shaking ke dia, hmm. dia selalu pegang seat ke, atau pegang seat ke you know already dia akan ada CCN yeah, you <laughs> tell everybody uh, guys you have to look out for seat 37D because uh-huh. dia anxious we uh-huh. know this right but how we should address this is just through empathy and how it works is we always ask how are you feeling how what can I do to make you feel better that's the most important thing Some of them, they kata, uh, I'm scared today because I just went through a breakup yesterday. Bukan dia takut terbang. He just anxious because malam dia, dia kena jam. Break up for every reason, you know. We cannot assume, we, because we know when we assume, we make an mm, of you and me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we cannot assume that just because you're not anxious, je, the person is scared of flying. Okay, so we have to handle the person by just asking the simple questions. But then now, katakan, if that person kata, I'm, hey, hari ni, I am really, really scared uh, of flying. Is it, we tanya lah, because, Asia, because of Air Asia, a lot of people are being able to fly for the first time because it's more affordable, right? So, kita tanya makcik-makcik atau pakcik-pakcik, eh, makcik-makcik, hmm. ni first time ke buat kapal terbang? Dalam kapal terbang ni, I say, first hmm. time, ni anak I beli tiket ni, you know, okay. Hmm. Uh, makcik-makcik ni takut kenapa and most of the time bila I jumpa dengan the passengers dekat bila habis buat walk around ke I jumpa dekat dekat uh, ataupun dekat boarding place ke apa kan I can I, I can ask lah you can see you can you can see you can ask them most of them uh, saya uh, takut nak terbang because ke atas tu tak ada jaraya tak boleh handbrake I tak kelar apa-apa berlaku the first thing I do as a captain in, as a pilot it actually works yeah? you just get on your knees you just speak to them at eye level and tell them first of all reassure them makcik pakcik saya kapten juruterbang ataupun uh, the person that's flying you today believe me saya pun tak nak apa-apa berlaku untuk kapal terbang I, and I will do everything I can to make sure that we sampai safely because if I don't come home today my wife will kill me so I'm telling you now that we'll do everything we can to keep you safe now whenever okay this is what I will do for you hari ni kita akan kan, katakan nak pergi ke kota baru macam I think I went yesterday I went to Vietnam mm. uh, semalam I pergi Danang and then uh, Cuaca memang upside down lah But mm-hmm. I already know I spoke to the co-pilot Kata okay Today we know uh, Portion of weather kat sini weather, uh, fork, um, Dia akan gedebak-gedebuk Gedebak kat sini Sini, sini and everything Okay so look at timing And then I will tell the passengers Okay Bila kita ber- When we take off nanti Mungkin the first 20 minutes Akan bergegar But this is what I will do Bila I can see uh, a Cloud coming I will come on the PA very briefly, make sure that I've passed over the controls. I've done all the SOP and everything. We're about 28,000 feet. Everything is safe. I will come on the PA and say, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. The aircraft is going to shake for 10 minutes. Hang on. The thing is, most of the time we do that. Habis je. Ladies and gentlemen, the seatbelt signs remain on. Tapi it's going to be okay. You can feel the new perasaan you start yeah. to Alah bukan kita buat selalu pun We can If you see banyak uh, uh. New timers ke apa You buat macam tu Simple Simple guest experience yeah. changes Makes such a big difference so, okay. Saya buat dalam Sepanjang Captain cakap tadi hmm. Memang saya dah cakap hmm. Dalam hati saya Saya adalah seorang yang tak boleh fly Lebih daripada 3 jam Okay go on Ah, Dan apa yang membuatkan saya selesa Dalam flight tu adalah Suara Captain Dia uh-huh. tiba Captain betul, cerita betul. tadi betul. Suara tu membuatkan saya rasa macam Do lega you... Sam, Ya lega Dalam hati tu ada orang Dalam minda kita ada orang Yang 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 kat depan Yang Betul. nampak lagi Absolutely right hmm. Sikit sikit tahu tak kenapa Sikit kata okay, Kalau kita dengar Pramugara atau pramugari bercakap Ataupun kita dengar Captain atau pengkopal bercakap Why do we feel more confidence When the captain bercakap Is because one is authority Number two Betul. is experience And number three is The captain has all the visibility Of what's yes. happening In front of the plane Betul. Yes. Kita kat belakang kita nampak kat apa Nampak, nampak tepi stranger, We see nothing ah, Nampak you know? puncak gunung So that's nampak why awan. At Air Asia We're always encouraging All our pilots across the entire community the pilot community that we should be more open with our passengers share more information but Betul. we do it in the most safest way possible simple words like ladies and gentlemen hang on yeah stay seated five minutes je because hmm. kita dapat weather radar kita tahu okay lima minit alah lima minit je gerbak gerbuk gerbuk, gerbuk habis it's over yeah Dah, dan Then they Tapi betul, betul, betul Kadang-kadang kita bagi tahu As a cabin crew bagi tahu To compare yang kita bagi tahu Captain bagi tahu Dia lain, akan lain, lagi lain, Confident lain, dengan captain lain, yang bagi tahu yeah. ha, Dia macam I, dia, dia macam kakak bagi tahu abang ha, Dengan mak bagi tahu That's why kalau betul. ada 
That's why kalau ada supervisor yang dah berpengalaman dia ask captain tolong yes. captain please. I Zaro you are absolutely right. <laughs> Happens to me as well. Kalau I cakap tak tak tak, tak masuk dia orang ni. You hmm. you suppose. Ha, and here's another thing. Bila you dengar suara captain bercakap and then suara captain tu lembut, hmm. manis, Macam ni, confident. Halama. Next I... time kan captain keluar keluar kat TV lah waktu dia cakap. <laughs> Letak letak kamera sambung ke ni uh, IFE. <laughs> dia boleh buat pokokan dalam kopi dah. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Ya, okay, okay. Kita bercakap pasal hmm. comfort, comfort kan. Ha. Saya comfort dengan suara. Tapi untuk kapten sendiri kan. Hmm. Uh, sepanjang you fly nak tahu lah juga. Hmm. Uh, comfort food dalam fly. Alamak. Adakah dalam fly Asia ni you punya comfort food macam mana? Ada. Ha. Ha. Macam so, macam kita kat Malaysia Airline. Adalah, adalah eh, uh. Macam you all You all kena beli sendiri Something like that Atau bawa sendiri Atau bawa okay, sendiri kat so, rumah Alhamdulillah I'm very happy that And very thankful That I've been married <coughs> Today 10 years and one uh, 10 years and one month I've been married lah. Uh, 10 years and one day I've been married And my wife has 10 years and one day The kira yeah, bang Ya yeah, uh, Dah sudah masuk 10 tahun kan Anniversary uh, yeah, anak, Itu dia cakap 10 tahun and one day 10 tahun and one day Yelah baru tu hari lah In, in hari kita shoot 13-12 uh-huh. Dia punya anniversary 10 11 uh, 11 11, 11. 12, 13, uh. hmm. Tak happy anniversary tak. lagi thank sekali you, Happy you. anniversary Tapi so, saya biasa lah jahat Nak tanya juga Bazaru punya wedding Berapa tahun Berapa hari dah sekarang Mulai hari ni uh, 14, 13 <laughs> Okay tak apa <laughs> Kita lupa Okay teruskan no. Okay to be fair My comfort food Kalau pergi jauh-jauh lah Macam masa dulu Saya <laughs> dengan eh, AJX Pergi sampai juga Pergi Algeria I've done all the postings lah. I've done posting Untuk Malbat Pergi oh, ke Lebanon I've been oh, there Done that I've done okay. that I've done the whole Round the world tour Pergi Honolulu semua kan mm-hmm. My wife will make me Macam pasta ke apa I simpan I, And thank you to the cabin crew Especially for warming it up Because you mix Ah, oh, you, know? Yeah. you know, so for me that that's always been my comfort food. Now because I buat banyak domestic flights, mm-hmm. uh, macam I pergi balik hari and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, the best for me has to be part nasi minas lemak on board Asia. Oh, banyak lain. Like, I know there's Uncle Chin lah. I, there, I know so many kita ada yang our brand new product ni dipanggil Nam. Nam. So Nam. this one not bad juga. Tapi for me it has always still has to be the part nasi minas lemak. Tapi betul. Aku berbalik tawar je. Uh-huh. Uh, order Bukhara tu dengan nasi lemak part nasi. Mm. Uh, oh sedap Nasi kan? lemak Nasi lemak Memang <laughs> sedap lah To compare dengan Other ah, airline hmm. Yang sebelum-sebelum ni kan Yang other airline tu Sebelum ni sedap Mungkin I don't know Ya yeah, Budget ke apa ke hmm. Semua dia hmm. jadi Simplified Nasi lemak Something like that But kalau boleh Dia Bagikan lagi Nasi lemak tu Preserve dia punya rasa tu Lagi better yeah, lah yeah. Ini hmm. ada My humble opinion Untuk Betul Uh, my own company dululah uh, Bagi sedap <laughs> <laughs> Tapi mbak nasi lemak Abang nasi ni memang Berantu Saya respect lah. oh, yeah. Yeah. Memang sedap Memang sedap <laughs> Kalau boleh nak minta lebih Kan uh-huh. Alright uh, Kita ada banyak lagi benda nak tanya no problem, no problem. Uh, Betul So kita kena berehat seketika Ambil nafas sekejap Kita jumpa Selepas ini <laughs> Borak dalam geli bersama dengan Captain JFK. Hey, how you doing? Okay, okay, Captain. Uh, since you, since you, you dari DJ before, kan? Mm. Apa kata kalau you buat macam konon-konon lah, you, you as a host podcast borak lagi, I jadi. Yes, Arti. Yes, Arti. How you doing? Uh, welcome to the new show we have today. Is the JFK and Zaro Umbrella Show. Uh, is uh, presenting as well as CK Faisal is here as an invited guest. We're going to ask them all the questions that we can think of based on what we have, whatever we have here. So the first question will be like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's very weird because selalu ni, over the last 25 years, I done industry, pengacaraan semua ni, ataupun DJ ni, 25 years, usually, I yang interview orang. Uh-uh. Sekarang terbalik pula. Sekarang terbalik yeah, pula. So which is uh. good. It's just that very pelik lah. Because I rasa macam nak, I nak curi your mic pula. I nak tanya okay. soal you Nak buat podcast lah. pula. Ah, podcast podcast kan. dalam kopi. <laughs> Jangan buat tau. <laughs> tak boleh cari makan kami. <laughs> okay. Uh, since you fly, hmm. dah masih lagi buat? I am. Uh, still, Alhamdulillah, I'm still on the radio as well. I haven't stopped. Uh, and the Air Asia is very supportive with creative talent. So they know Betul. that hey, you have the opportunity to do something that helps us and the overall group. Let's do it. So I... Uh, I'm still on the radio on Saturday, 6 to midnight, uh, playing songs that I think you would love to hear. So if you want a song, you just slide into my DMs. There you go, promo sikit. 
Hmm, mesti so, semua aku, pendengar pendengar comfort uh, je kan. Uh, so, but here's the thing, orang bila dengar ai kat radio kata, "Eh, kau ni DJ radio ke kau ni? Kau uh, pilot, kau pilot captain ni because they cannot they have to put you in a box. People are very uh-huh. weird. They need to always put you in a box." Betul. So, when I go and present myself at the at the gate ke apa ke, I have to show authority, I'm professional. I'm very I, I try my best to to greet people, but they be like, "Eh, hey, are you the same guy on the radio?" Yes. How come you look very different? How do you know how I look like on the radio? <laughs> Because <laughs> there's always this perception, this narrative of how you have to look like, right? Ah, uh, you know. So, so you sound, okay. you sound small. <laughs> like, <laughs> you sound small with a lot of hair. A lot of hair, uh. but you are. Uh. Hmm. Okay. okay. Apa, apa Sorry, bang. You, dari pilot dengan dodo thing tu ada macam ada persamaan ataupun tidak sebenarnya. It's a big, uh, big, big, big difference. Difference. But one common denominator. The big difference being that when you're a pilot, there's a lot of study, a lot of professionalism, a lot of thought process in terms of safety and security. But we must always remember as well that the people on board the plane are human. They are people as well. They are humans that want to get from point A to point B safely and comfortably. So as a captain, I always tell my co-pilot, I even tell all my cabin crew as well. Okay, today. After we do all the briefing lah, we talk about the weather, the refueling. We talk about all the the SOP stuff that we have to do. Mm-mm. I always, always, always end with, what are our passenger profiles like today? Where are we going? What can we do that we can make their experience better for us and for them at Air Asia? Because there can be so many low cost carrier airlines in the world. But what makes us the best for 14 years? And I want us to be the for the 15 years they come in next year. Mm-mm. What can we do better? Not differently, yeah. Mm-mm. Because sometimes we do, we are doing it right. Mm-mm. But what can we do better? Meaning that, uh, like we talked about tadi, mm. um, kalau we see a passenger nervous, ke daripada assume that that passenger is anxious because of flying, Mm-mm. maybe that passenger is just downright upset because of what have happened, you know. And always, 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 I always tell my cabin crew as well, if you feel that something is not right, specifically you guys are crew, do you tahu lah kan? Something is not right with the airplane or the passengers. Let us know. We need to break that barrier between that. Eh, kalau I dengar ada bunyi ni yang tak biasa dengan cakap je lah. Tell us, you know. Jangan berjaya takut dengan Captain kata, I takut nak cakap dengan Captain lah. Nanti Captain akan marah I ke. No, mm. ada. There are some, the new ones are like that. Kata <laughs> I, they have this this authority barrier where, hey, Captain, I, I I baru join crew. I baru 2 bulan kat sini kan. So, I takut nak, nak cakap dengan Captain pasal mm. ada bunyi yang dekat dalam galley tu kenapa mm. ke dog, 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 dog. Ataupun kenapa mm. Airbus ni ada ada bunyi macam, ni, ni, ni. What is that kan? <laughs> Uh, you know so takut nak tanya so I, this are the kind of stuff I tell them if you have a question ask abang takut nak tanya <laughs> dulu dulu uh, bahasa baru-baru tu adalah kan, sebab see, kita see. ada supervisor ha, ha, ha. cuma yang kita berani pun kita bagi berani bagi tahu supervisor kita je lah ha. betul ha, yang, so up to supervisor lah kan so you sebagai uh, macam kita cabin crew kita nak make sure comfort uh, kita punya customer tu kalau panas kita Ekon bagi sejuk sikit, mm. kalau sejuk bagi selimut Mm-mm. untuk keselesaan penumpang. So, macam you as a pilot, macam mana you jaga keselesaan penumpang you? Which is to answer your question, based on my experience as a radio DJ, we cannot make everybody happy. I boleh mainkan lagu Santana, tapi half of the people yang suka main lagu Boys to Men kata, apa kau main lagu Boys to Men kan? So same thing, you can ask them to turn down the the, the temperature, tapi mm. ada kata kenapa, I rasa panas. you know. Mm. So, One thing that radio taught me as a personality in broadcast that I bring to the airline flying is we mm-hmm. are dealing with people, people from all walks mm-hmm. of life. Better. But every human's idea of flying is still the same. They want to get from point A to point B safely and comfortably. Mm-hmm. How can we improve the experience? So on radio, I've learned that by... by um, Like doing better announcements that have kata kata. Semalam I balik daripada Dana, I came back to KL. I kata it was a clear blue sky. I kata, hey guys, yang sebelah kiri tu tengok lah, itu lah KLCC, itu lah TRX. Eh, best ya. Kata okay sebelah kanan tu port Klang, Shah Alam. Allah tak lama, only two minutes. Tak sampai dua minit je kat PA tu. Tapi bila mendarat dekat the baggage carrier stand, bila I tengah jalan dengan kru kata, eh, thank you, Captain, good lah. I managed to take a few pictures. Done. Nanti yep. tengoklah dia dekat tag tag I thank you for tagging uh, me it means true to me you know uh, uh. because most of the time dalam kapal terbang a lot of passengers if we keep on remembering that they are like boxes meaning that dia orang tak ada nyawa dia orang just there because as cargo transport no they are actually humans and sometimes you tell them eh tengoklah kat luar tingkap tu itulah KLCC that small experience yang dia akan ambil gambar tu kata eh I ingatlah itu I fly Air Asia dengan Captain JFK ni kan dia cakap KLCC for the first time dah lah I, I hardly fly aeroplane bila I masuk aeroplane tu I boleh tengok KLCC because They wouldn't know. Kita mana ada inside entertainment yang kata here is your KLCC. Tak ada. 
Betul. Yeah. So, betul. Yeah. I, I saw your TikTok video yeah. tu you punya announcement. Uh, normally kita dengar uh, biasa captain bagi macam uh, very the basic one macam macam baca skrip je. Which is not which is not wrong. Uh, not okay, wrong. Which is not wrong. But okay. bila you style you cakap tu macam hmm. uh, your customer, your penumpang rasa your macam your pendengar. Uh-huh. Your pendengar macam eh Best lah, yeah, ni. Different eh? Just like macam dulu ada Captain, Captain Pantun yes, tu kan. Yes. Ah, yeah, more like macam uh, penumpang rasa kelainan tu dan hmm. rasa kemesraan tu. Betul. Yang, betul. Dan dia bila daripada kemesraan tu, rasa timbul satu perasaan yakin. Oh, bagus lah Captain okay. ni. Okay, Zaril, you are absolutely right now. I'm going to share with you, I think this is the first time I'm sharing this in anywhere. Okay. okay. The real understatement reason of why I personally want to do different announcements or different announcement styles is because I know that on board Air Asia a lot banyak penumpang kita yang fly for the first time. Banyak penumpang kita yang very anxious. Mm. Kalau I tahu orang kat dalam depan cockpit tu is the captain not only do I respect because I tengok dia pakai pick cap dia mm. okay, mm. okay. Tapi bila bercakap dia bercakap macam kawan lah. He's ah, like my friend kan? lah. Oh. I trust him. Mm-hmm. My job is to make the passenger feel that not only they can trust me they can laugh with me they can connect with me and they can understand me mm. when this happens they will feel confident that no matter what happens in the aircraft get back get back i can come on the pa ladies and gentlemen hey, it's your captain jfk hang on yeah hang on a little bit of cloud ala cloud is just water je ala macam <laughs> air je jap 3 minit lagi hang on yeah get back get back get back habis je okay gang dah habis let's go dan I land, they said, thank you, Captain. I felt so anxious because I didn't know. Most of them said, I didn't know when it's going to end. And only two people in the pilot deck or cockpit will know, and those are the pilots. Macam kau, experience kau, during uh, the summer vacation lah. Yeah. You, pernah tak ada Captain you keluar untuk duduk depan, sebelah kat depan tu? Yeah. Uh, Say hi, jarang thank you. Ah. Jarang kan? Jarang, betul. How about you? I do it all the time. If I can. All the time. I am very appreciative. Not just me, banyak Asian why, captains. Why, why you buat macam tu? Zaro, we have to uh-huh. remember that in a world post-COVID, things have changed. You must remember, yeah, before COVID and after COVID, we've learned a lot. I think one thing if I, I want to share with you, there's a very big difference between arrogance and confidence. Banyak perbezaan di antara keangkuhan dan juga keyakinan diri. And the difference between arrogance and confidence is humility kerendahan hati. If you can understand this concept, you will mm. remember that no matter how many bars you have here, mm. you cut me, I will bleed. So now when I meet my passengers, when our colleagues at Air Asia, when our all-star captains meet our passengers, we know we can see and we can feel the energy from them thanking us, I will do better on my next one. I'm sorry, tadi I landed into Hong Kong, the wind was really pushing, I had to push the aircraft down, they're going to bang sikit. Mm-hmm. I want to personally go there and say, Tuan, Puan, I am sorry. But if we were safe, yang penting kita selamat. Betul. Pernah tak Zaro Ziki, you be in a plane, kau dah kena bang, apalah Captain mesti junior ah. pilot ke? Padahal, do you know that we were doing our very darn well best to land safely because of the crossing. You tak tahu. You tak ah. tahu crossing component berapa. You tak tahu apa condition of the aircraft. You tak tahu thunderstorm macam mana. You tak tahu. Yang you tahu kena bang je. Alamak Asia. Dan terkejut aku tidur. <laughs> Correct. Ah, ah. But, so how I reverse this is, guys. Sebelum kita sampai, kata ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. Okay, I tell you now. Yeah. When we land to Hong Kong later in 20 minutes, You might hear the gedebang. I'm sorry, I'm telling you now because we have a very strong crosswind because the the SOP states that if we have a lot of water on the runway, yeah. I have to put the aircraft gedebang. down. Gedebang. I'm telling you now. Favorite word today, gedebang. Gedebang. Uh, <laughs> ataupun kalau nak awan, gedebak, gedebuk, gedebak, gedebuk. That one is my favorite word as well. <laughs> because it is real. If I can make you laugh, I can make passengers laugh, <laughs> lagi kurang lah anxiety mereka. <laughs> yeah. So communication is key. Tapi tapi saya rasa hari ni macam best gila bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sebab lah, saya baru uh, baru ni uh, pergi ke Langkawi hmm. dan saya pergi berdua lah dengan sahabat saya sebab orang hmm. lain dah bergerak dah, uh, dahulu. Hmm. Pergi uh, ni experience eh untuk kita untuk semua lah. Saya rasa macam betul kita, kita tak tahu orang tu berasal pada mana dia betul. ada anxiety ke tak. Bila nak test flight saya bagi dia duduk biasalah sikit kan suka middle seat. Oh. Uh, so saya bagi dia window seat. And then bila nak take off, hmm. wish, pucat muka dia bang. Oh, yeah. ha, pucat, tangan shaking. So, nasib baiklah. Saya rasa saya adalah, uh, kita ada pengalaman. So, saya terus pegang. Saya terus pegang. Dia cakap, it's okay. I'm with you. Uh-huh. So, take off. Dua, tiga minit je. Sabar. Tengah pegang ni bang, tangan Berpeluh. dia gigil. Yes. Berpeluh. Dan landing yang sama. So, saya bayangkan 
It will be nice kalau ada orang lebih ramai macam Captain yang some, Saya sendiri walaupun kawan, saya tak tahu yang dia sebenarnya anxiety Amazing. Amazing. And then lepas sampai ke destinasi, saya tanya dia sejak bila kena Dia kata baru je, saya pun tak tahu kenapa saya Sebab tu saya dah tak boleh, saya kena kurangkan night flight mm. Tapi saya tengok cara dia kan macam mm. oh. Tapi bila dia naik, dia tahu comfort, dia tahu nak cari Baru dia tahu, oh it's a safe flight actually It is Bila It is. ada orang, bila naik, dan of course lah favorite Ya, siap Lagi Alright, ini uh, promote sikit dalam sikit. dalam flight uh, kita tak boleh lari kadang-kadang ada sedikit kelewatan. Huh. How do okay. you handle the kelewatan delay? Ada like, tak d- customer cakap, passenger s- cakap, ha. Hmm. Uh, benda delay ni sensitif sebenarnya. Tak juga. No, no uh, it's not sensitive. Uh, it is uh, macam mana you as a, okay. I, I wouldn't say sensitive because I'll, I'll be fair. Dalam mungkin this okay, uh, tahun ni mungkin dalam 100 flight yang I bawa yang delay Tiga, empat And we talk about delay macam Setengah jam delay ke Satu jam delay ke hmm. Alright Because you talk about Satu minit delay eh, Janganlah geng That one a bit too much lah yeah. That one a bit too Come on lah You know Pick it lah geng I'm talking about 30 minit One hour Two hour delay kan? ah. I think dalam satu flight I buat Tak sampai dua atau tiga And there's always a reason for it Okay I give you one example ya. You must remember ya Kita sebagai kru ni Kita you know lah Kita dibayar bukan based on flying hours Tapi based on block Meaning block hours Betul. Meaning that Okay Captain hari ni Captain pergi ke KL Ke Hong Kong Hong Kong ke KL Captain akan dibayar RM40 For example yep. Okay Kalau I terbang Sini sana sana sini Empat jam Lapan jam Dua belas jam RM40 je dia, dia, dia pay dia For example There's a specific amount Okay So because of that Memang lah I don't want to be delayed because I've got plans also kan yeah. you know ah, okay but when but remember every time a delay happens is because of most likely a variable yang kita tak boleh dielakkan it is I give you one example semalam oh my god this is just semalam okay uh-huh. delay out of KL nak pergi Danang because tiga no, enam passenger dengan tiga bag enam passenger tak sampai ke kapal jadi kita kena keluarkan Keluar tiga kap- bag kita dah. Okay. okay, so you you know I'm coming from, right? Okay. Uh-huh. So of course we had a pro- policy procedures. That's why there's the reason why the gate closes 20 minutes before. There's, there's a reason, a very strict reason. Orang kata, mm-hmm. kenapa? There's a reason why because if you don't come to the plane and board the plane and your bag dah check in dah dekat terminal semua lah, dah sampai dalam kapal tu, kita kena keluarkan your bag. Kena cari. You, we have to find and that takes time, right? So that's why you, that's why the gate closes 20 minutes ke you not, are not there, we have to remove your bag. Because the process takes about 5 to 10 minutes or so lah. Okay, so that's why we can leave on time. Okay, so this is what happened yesterday. Bila dia, orang tak sampai because dia pergi shopping ke, dalam tandas ke. They had a reason lah. Daripada the time they check in, until the point the kapal terbang tu, something happened, I don't know what, they just not there. So bila nak keluarkan bag tu, dia kata, Captain, Captain, kita kena keluarkan 3 bag. Tapi I dengan kompanya nampak 2 bag. Eh, hey, if I don't see that one bag, we are not going. We are not going. Nak cari dia back tu bukannya lah senang. They have to actually ada proses dia but it takes time lah to go through the whole entire cargo, nak check, kena count balik because mm-hmm. safety has been and will always be our number one priority at Asia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tapi one thing I learn lah, the moment, because I dekat kopi, I dah ready lah. Everything on time. Kita dah awal pun yang ready to go. Tapi mm. I know that dah going to run late already. This malam, I keluar kopi, I kata, okay, I told my co-pilot, you just wait here, you do what you have to do, stand by je. I have a reason in my experience lah flying aeroplane ni kan bila captain keluar daripada cockpit dia jalan je kan everything moves faster I don't know why <laughs> dia nampak dengan bar tu ke eh, captain dah keluar lah <laughs> you know suddenly daripada ngek-ngek oi berlari kiri kanan GTR so everyone be running which is what you want right okay never mind okay so I, and then I kata okay guys jom kita go down there I went to the cargo compartment I think okay jom kita kira sama-sama dia eh apa kat tumbuk sini kan <laughs> tapi they're, they're working they're efficiently working right and then I, we found Out there, okay, after kita dah check semua security aviation semua datang check anything alamak kap, yeah, the, the bag tu dekat carousel lagi tak sampai ke kapal Ah, so that's what the little bit of delay was tapi in my whole I think I dah terbangan Asia dah 11 tahun 12 tahun first time that happened Yeah. Hmm. So probability kalau you dengar kat social media kan remember social media ni pelik sikit. Everyone hmm. talks about the negativity but no one talks about the positivity. Yeah. That's why bila I buat yang viral video pasal hey we're going to be landing early dah quarter million people viewed it because it's true bila kita sampai awal orang tak cakap apa bila sampai satu minit je poh my oh. tell you sampai drama keluar Asia is lambat which is not true by the way yeah. so this Tapi, uh, happen, uh, ada orang tanya dekat channel uh, YouTube Abang Zarul hmm. uh, apa tu Captain boleh memecut boleh pecut kalau untuk awal. <laughs> okay ada, lah. Okay, let, ATC kot ada. Okay, okay. Okay, so, you okay let, let's do the real story. 
Ah. Okay. The joking story is kita ada pedal kita boleh tekan. No, that's, no. it's not true. It <laughs> doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Because kita ada limitasi. But, tapi there's a but. Okay. Uh, I give you example. Katakan KL ke Langkawi. Dalam tiket kata pun sejam eh. Sejam uh-huh. eh. Sejam. Okay. Uh-huh. I know that the actual direct track kalau kita daripada katakan Ketinggian. helikopter. Uh-huh. Kalau sampai pun 40 minit. 45 ah, ah. minit ah, ah. tapi dekat atas udara sana tuan-tuan dan puan-puan ada jalan raya juga ya ah, kita ah. kena follow ada speed limit dia ada jalan raya dia and everything we have to follow okay? ada speed limit ada speed limit ada, ada lorong-lorong ada lorong ada tingkat-tingkat ada, lorong, tingkat, ada kan? lorong tikus juga ah, ya. <laughs> ada lah okey ada point, point ada kan? point point dia we have to follow okey bila kita lambat and we want to try and save time we will try and negotiate with air traffic control Okay, adalah cara-cara dia as a pilot we can do it Macam katakan kita gerak dari point A ke point B ke point C Kita nak pergi point C terus Kita tanyalah uh, Air traffic control tower This is your pilot And you know We are running a bit late Can we go straight to point C? Hmm. I'm very thankful that Especially in the aviation community Everybody wants to help Believe me when I say that You've been flying for a long time right? Hmm. Dalam community aviasi ini Banyak daripada kita Understand that We have to help each other yeah. It's a help it, it, Memang we have to help each other No hmm. matter what I mean you have a few Yang kata tak nak tolong But most majority Akan tolong okay? So for this to happen An air traffic controller Has to go above and beyond Which they often do mm-hmm. Check eh okay I nak potong jalan ni Nak cari lor- nak buat lorong baru Untuk dia ni mm-hmm. I, Dia kena coordinate lah Sometimes dia kena coordinate With different countries juga tau Dengan Singapore Dengan Thailand Dengan mm-hmm. Indonesia mm-hmm. So they have to do A lot more work To help you get there To your point mm-hmm. C Tapi dia bukan jaga you je Sama the air traffic controllers Dia sampai have to do Look after 10, 20, 30 planes So tengoklah keadaan Lepas tu belum lagi sampai tu Can you imagine there's weather around Ha lagi lah So we will As pilots Kalau it's really busy And banyak weather And banyak traffic Sometimes we try to Minta shortcut tak dapat We understand Okay tak boleh tak boleh lah So we still run to delay That's why delay happens hmm. So to answer the question Can we pecut Yes we can Bukan tekan minyak lagi banyak Tapi we can find other ways To strategize to get there faster uh, Dah terjawab dah pun Okay Let's say lah Ini pasal delay lagi uh, Mungkin sure, ada sure. passenger ni Dia ada masalah sikit Dia terlambat 5 minit hmm. Terlambat 5 minit sebelum Uh, dah depart Nak oh, depart yeah. 5 minit Dah terlambat So Kalau Depart meaning That's in the Kapal dah gerak ke belakang Kapal dah gerak ke belakang Tapi dia ada Dia dah jumpa dekat Aku tahu mana pergi soalan ni Ada Ada Mm-mm. Kalau okay. macam tu macam mana macam you, tu? Prosedur macam mana Okay You ada Sorry right? lagi I, I, Kalau I'll Kalau Kalau dah detach Okay lah Detach uh, Aero, Aero bridge. bridge Tapi Apa ni Pesawat Aircraft tak Push back lagi Oh, dah push back tapi terbelum start engine lah. Mm. Guys, in my experience, it has happened to me. Okay? Oh. And uh, this is a real story and I'm very thankful that Air Asia, they believe in just culture, meaning that they know that you want to do the best for the company and best for our guests. That's, and this taught me, I think masa tu, I was a co-pilot ke Captain? I can't remember. All I remember was I was in the cockpit and I saw bila kita dah push back and ah, masa tu Air Asia, so I was still the first officer. And this taught me a very good lesson. Yeah? And It doesn't happen all the time, okay? But there are times then, like, macam Asia X long distance destinations and everything yang jauh-jauh yang terbang. Sampai kita tak terbang sampai dua tiga hari lepas tu. Macam kita terbang ke Busan, for example. Hari Isnin kita terbang. The next flight is hari Rabu atau yeah, hari Kamis. Hari Kamis. Okay? Mm-hmm. Meaning that kalau that passenger has left that flight, hari Isnin tak terbang. Mm-hmm. Hari Rabu atau Kamis akan terbang, mm-hmm. okay? Okay. So this uh, this taught me a very very important lesson in empathy, yeah. Masa, that's, that's why it's very important for you to be at the gate before it closes <laughs> so you don't give me and my colleagues headache okay but bila I remember I was pushing back the thing that disconnected dah I, I can actually see a mother and a child dekat gate depan-depan oh. tu again gate, this is okay this is like blue Roma tau okay uh, the captain look at me I look at the captain Masa, I was first officer kan? I look, look at me I look at him it's like macam we know do you want to help we want Okay, meaning that we ask the stop bar, the, the, the tow bar, gang, stop, please push back. I know we'll run late, I know, okay? And then masa tu, we also connect with, uh, with, the, with the, the, the ground staff, the operation staff and anything. And then they kata, tak ada bag. That means they, they're there uh, with, 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 with their hand carry saja. Mm-hmm. Because bag, okay, to be honest, with bag, it becomes a whole different process. Because Betul. the screen, so and we cannot allow safety and security to be... Goodbye to you. Ah, that one, I'm sorry, friend. gang. Ah, lagu tu lah keluar. So, uh-huh. pada masa tu, kata, tak ada bag, there's just them. You come in, we do the paperwork sikit to make sure that they panggil last minute correction, last minute change. Uh-huh. It fits within the limits. 
Buka you can see menangis why because oh, anak I dia menang anak dia buat tantrum dekat 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 dekat, dekat uh, the boarding gate that's why they delay and as a father of three I can tell you now I know exactly how it feels alright and masa tu I tak ada but, but you get I me mean, so dalam aviation in anything we do remember that empathy has been will always be something that we hold value to ourselves mm. be, and until this very day that person yang keluar and anything I'm sure they still remember that day and they will never be late again to an air asia flight yes <laughs> be late again memang Ucah you ni. you kalau boleh you akan cuba correct uh, tapi correct. ada limitasinya juga of you course cakap tadi lah kalau ada back <coughs> Tak boleh nak tolong lah. Yes. Ah, That's yeah. what makes a good captain, Zaro. It That's is why. always remember that we have handle a book and has a, ah, correct. We have a book to handle the SOP. Tapi the good captains are the ones that come with experience that know how to justify going around the rules for hmm. the benefit of our guests <coughs> and the safety of the other guests. Ada cara-cara dia. And make a very very good decision. Betul, betul. For all. Well, no, okay. There's no such thing as a good decision. Great decision. There's no such thing as a great decision. Mm. There's only a decision that can be made that you stand by yeah. meaning that sometimes you may make a not so good decision i mean half of them not happy with you correct fike got it because i delay tadi or, ataupun my captain delay tadi oh. dia akan mengamuk apa ni delay pergi apa, masa i dulu tak boleh jadi yeah. apa uh, 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 you know? uh, uh. guys i tell you another story lah just zaman i line training i was to satu bar ke dua uh. bar okay uh, and i learned this until this very day because as a captain i can think back yeah? i bought line training dulu line training means that i only fly with the instructor mm. pergi ke mana-mana lah we want to go fly and then uh, i will learn the process of becoming a pilot with uh, flying the airline okay masa tu airbus a330 we were going to I think melbourne ke i masa tu i was flying the plane uh, so i can about walk around let me tengoklah kapal terbang ada problem ke ada leaking ke brakes ke okay so i have to do the walk around before we get on board the plane so masa tu ingat tak zaman lcct kita nak naik kapal terbang asia a330 tu kita kena panjat uh, the the stairs yeah. ingat tak okay so bila ada walk around i was going to walk up the stairs i saw a lady nak kata old tak jugalah nanti kesian dia i saw a lady with two big bags okay big bag besar lah. kata ma'am I'm going to go up the stairs and I know Zaro I know the safety I I know I cannot bring the bag inside the plane it is it is against the law but I can bring it to the top of the stairs boleh tak that one okay mm-hmm. I can so I kata ma'am uh, if you don't mind I can help you with you can con- you can take one bag I will take one bag I will walk with you to the top of the stairs okay I top of the stairs I letak dalam I, I I put it back kata you can bring it in okay Maso kopi tu kena marah dengan captain training. Why? Apa ni uh, JFK? How can you help one person not help everybody else? What kind of image are you giving? You know, you are wearing a uniform. Are you a grand ground staff ke? Are you a ramp boy ke? You are a pilot. Maso tu I pucat, I blank. I say, are you serious? Ah? Ni zam, this one, I think during the old tentera days of how they uh. train, you have to have that respect. You kena pakai cap. Uh, mm. When you walk on the terminal, you can only look at yourself. You cannot even talk to the cabin crew. Ingat tak zaman dulu? Pilot, uh. pilots. Cabin crew, cabin crew there's always a very straight line because of professionalism oh my god gang it is 2023 times have changed or 2024 lah depends on when you're actually watching this video lah <laughs> but times have changed we are still human and until this very day because of that that story i, rem- I remember i kena masa tu until this very day every time i naik kapal if i see someone in needs help dengan baby sekarang i tolong and i don't care siapa nak cakap apa cakap lah i'm not going to help every single one tapi if i'm on the way up Ado run it help help lah apa hmm. susah kan tolong jelah you know so this is the yeah, kind of stuff yeah, that happens correct, ah correct correct apa jarang jarang benda ni dilakukan oleh ya yeah, betul you i setuju hmm. dengan dulu punya mentality persepsi orang tengok pilots the pilot pilot cabin crew dia ada satu gap sikit lah hmm. uh, sekarang more orang kata loose sikit lah kan tak ada you lebih mesra dengan cabin crew which is correct dengan penumpang sama macam Betul. tu juga kan. Betul. Okey, ini kita berbalik kepada ini teknikal sikit lah sure. kan. Mungkin ada masa you bawa the aircraft ke you mengalami satu situasi yang uh, boleh dikatakan agak sukar. Banyak. Boleh share? Banyak. Um, one, one of it is that's that's the reason why until this very day Zaro I wear this hmm. pin on my uh, close to my heart. Hmm. It says safety hero from Air Asia. Wow, why? So This master to I was a FO a first mm. officer right mm. and remember that you can train a pilot mm-hmm. but experience is earned okay Betul. master to I was flying uh, KL to Melbourne uh, Melbourne to Gold Coast and 
uh, every, it's normal, normal flight. Everything, all, everything, you know, like kapal terbang kan. When you fly, it's normal. It's just a normal, nice flight. But when something goes wrong, it goes wrong. So dah nak approach, everything all done, calculation all done. It's a captain sector, so captain has to land. Yeah, the uh, the 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 captain master tu, dia kata, okay, ready to ready to land. Okay, flaps one, which means we nak keluar, nak, nak make the the wing longer and bigger so that we can slow down. Because nak landing kan? Kalau tak ada flaps tu, tak ada slats tu, nak landing macam mana? Kau boleh go on the runway, you will just shoot off. You will literally hum, sampai the somebody's house, all right? So you have to, in order for you to land the aircraft, to come down and slow down, you have to increase the curvature of the wing to, to increase the lift of the wing at slow speeds, okay? Mm. I don't want to get too technical. But the moment kata, flaps one. I letak flaps one. Ding, 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 ding. La ilaha illallah. Dah masak, masak dah makanan tu. <laughs> no, bukan masak. <laughs> I yang masak because the wing to jam. <gasps> the mechanical fail. Okay. The entire wing, bila you nak besarkan, dia kata, no jam spot. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. At that point, I look at my captain. The captain look at me. I tell you, I think I the muka dah pucat. But here's the best part. For pilots ni kan, we are always trained in simulators every six months and tested to the worst of conditions. Mm. So when something like this happen, okay, it, we, we panic for a bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's shock lah dia panggil. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. But then after that, as a human being. As yeah. a human being. Mm. Okay. Tapi after that, eh, Buatlah apa sih macam cakap? We hmm. done it before. Yeah. Dia panggil flap, slats, jam. Buatlah apa sih macam dia? Yeah. So we do da 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 and everything. Okay. But oh, I won't lie. Dalam simulator tu, we know it's a computer game. And walaupun kita kena assume that it's like real, okay, it gives us the confidence required that knowing kita dah buat before, we can do it again. Yeah. But in real life, a bit different lah, Zarul. <laughs> you know? A little bit different <laughs> lah. You know? bit Because lah. tak ada reset button, tak ada handbrake kan? Ah, okay. you know? So dia kata, okay, that happened. The flap, slat, jam, nak landing, memang tak boleh landing. We calculate and everything. Uh-huh. Few dah kurang. Like oh my god, must do I first officer. I think still baru dua balak, so not as experienced. Okay, but my captain taught me. It's okay. I'm still flying. Calm down. Assist me. Okay, captain. I'll do everything you ask me to do. So kita follow procedure. Whatever we do, we train. We we declare emergency. Kita pergi ke. Uh, we I think diverted to Brisbane because they had the long enough runway. Bila landed, ada semua the 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 sirens yeah. all. And then bila kita landed because we cannot. We are so fast. The our slats jam, yeah. So we land very very fast. Tekan break pun we have to full reverses. Kapa besar. Tiga ratus lapan puluh orang, yeah. Mm-hmm. When we landed, they were at first time in my life. That's that a siren. And first of all, it's so cute to see that you know the the the, the emergency services. Yeah, yeah. They cannot. Bomber, uh, the bomber. They cannot start at the start. Though. They have to go to the middle. Yeah. Because when they start, kita dah they have to go. Quite funny lah, you know. Yeah. So they always go to the middle, right? Bila sampai dekat the stop tu, we everything put. I, I can saw the smoke from the tires. They kata, okay, captain, hang on. They report to my radio. Okay. They ambil a pistol, pistol temperature. They point dekat the 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 tire. The tire. Point one, three fifty degrees. Point four. Aku tu, what's going on? They're checking to see yang mana akan bakar. Ah. So I ignite because I know the limitations. We we know limitations kan? Okay. All oh, little bit just below. All below limitation. All below limitation. Okay. All okay. Calm down. All okay. Bila landed tu, for two minutes ah. The captain dengan Afro dengan I lah. Tu macam ni. Jam sekejap. <laughs> Okay, Alhamdulillah. Baca lah apa nak baca-baca. Ya, yeah, baca lah apa yeah. nak baca. Okay. Lepas tu, okay, sit back up again. Okay, kita taksi. Gang, sampai Brisbane. Passenger. What is this? Why are we in Brisbane? I thought I want to play Gold Coast. Oh my God, chill lah. Okay. <laughs> you know? I don't care. I want us to go to Brisbane now. Get me a car. Never mind. I live here in Brisbane instead. So let me come down. No, no, no. <laughs> Tapi the best part, the captain's authority expires the moment you buka pintu. Ah, uh, ground staff and managers akan buat lah. You know? But... Uh-huh. Perangai Pak Nusi macam tu. So because of that, we we fixed up the whole airplane and we bring it back later. And then when I came back, Alhamdulillah, Asia actually acknowledged us and the entire crew and then gave me a medal and this wow. which I wear until this very day. So thank you. Tanya lah kata. Very good tanya, job lah. Tanya, 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 Tanya. Alright. Uh, seronok eh. Ya, yeah, seronok. Ada satu pengalaman yang uh, jarang kita dengar. Siapalah passenger yang memarah. <laughs> <laughs> we just save your life. Right. <laughs> kita berehat seketika. Jumpa lagi selepas ini. Ya. Yeah. Okey kembali lagi ke podcast Borak Dalam Geli bersama Siki Faizal dan Captain JFK. Alright, kita yes. nak tanya pasal uh, bahasa Inggeris, kepentingan bahasa Inggeris dalam 
uh, bidang penerbangan. Kalau kita cabin crew, of course bahasa Inggeris pun penting. Penting. Di dalam aviation, because kenapa penting sebab kita pakai English nak berkomunikasi dengan semua uh, station-station dekat kru kru lain ground ATC pun hmm. pakai English dan kita documentation pun pakai English Betul. tapi ada uh, sesetengah orang ataupun adik-adik kalau sana yang kurang faham fasih berbahasa Inggeris tapi minat nak jadi pilot minat nak jadi cabin crew so you as a pilot berapa penting English I, Alhamdulillah, for me, because of my SPM and because I got A in SPM, okay. that was the big ticket for me to actually get where I wanted to get. I keep on mm-hmm. acknowledging this again and again. This is why I'm very, I'm a very strong supporter in the English language because English is the number one language that co- that connects people around the world, irrespective of what country. It's number one, number one, okay? And in the aviation, English is super duper important because it's the acknowledged only language that we, as a country or uh, uh, entire world will be able to use as aviation English. That's why in, if you look at your licenses as a juruterbang, dalam, dalam your license, there's actually an English language proficiency level. And if you have level 6, I think maximum can level 6. Level 6, you don't have to be tested. And you're most likely a native speaker. Kalau level 5 itu, you can test every I think, few years to make sure that your, abil- your ability to communicate in English. Level 4, every few years. There are the minimum. Level 3, you can't even go to certain countries. You cannot fly because it's unsafe. You know why it's unsafe, Zaru? You must remember, uh, this is very important when it comes to English. I'll give you one example. I had one kid that they kata, hey, Captain, has anybody crashed a plane because of languages before? I said, yes, of course, multiple times. Okay, uh, Misunderstanding mm. is normal. Okay, But we learn from from it. But one good story that I want to share that to stress the importance of English is I give you an example. Uh, there was once um, a captain asked uh, the dispatcher, flight dispatcher, uh, how is the uh, my first time coming here to this country, this place to fly aeroplanes? Is everything okay? It's just a normal discussion, right? And the and the 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 controller said, yes, don't worry, everything is okay. You just have to worry about the rain, the rain, the rain. Okay, you worry about the rain. Okay, okay. So the captain like, okay, thank you. I'll look at the rain. My, my aeroplane is very new. I can fly into the rain. No problem. The rain is very nice. It's no problem. The rain. It's the rain. Boom, orang mati. Kenapa? Because perbezaan antara the word the rain and terrain adalah banyak bezanya. Oh. The rain is hujan. hujan. Terrain is... A mountain, kaboom. Mountain. So the dispatcher has been trying to tell the pilot, uh, the captain, please be aware of terrain. Terrain. The, Janganlah pergi the, bawah sangat bilo the, the, mm, the, 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 the level of terrain. Ah. Tapi the captain's understanding is, ah, I'm fine, the rain, I will fly into the rain. It's just a big cloud of water. Uh-uh. Orang mati, gang. Ibarat kita macam passenger minta milo, kita bagi pilo. That's okay. Ah. <laughs> That's make sense, bro. Pengalaman <laughs> kau. Pengalaman <laughs> kau. Kau yang bagi pilu tu. Ayo, sepuluh kau. Mana pilu aku? No, no. Bukan yang minta tu. Yang minta tu bukan passenger. Passenger. Kru. Uh, kru. Dia tengah rehat. Tengah rehat. Dia nak rehat. Dia nak rehat. Dia Milo. Aku dengar Milo. Dia Milo. Bek. Oh, dia nak tidur. Nak tidur bagi Milo. Dia tidur. Okay, apa, Bek? Aku nak pilu. Okay. <laughs> Sama lah kes yeah. Tapi ini lagi bahaya ini lah bahaya. Ini bahaya Sebab That's why nyawa. English Is very very Pronunciation pun penting lah Correct correct, And understanding of it Correct yeah. Kan so. so that's why Tips lah from you Captain Kepada yang nak 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 develop Ataupun nak upskill Dia punya skill In English ni The first is self-awareness. Kita kena tahu di mana kelemahan kita. Bila kita tahu kelemahan kita dan kita tahu kita ada keupayaan untuk membantu diri kita sendiri, kita kena usaha untuk membuatkannya. It's not that it's not that difficult by reading books, reading by books. reading, uh, listening to podcasts which are in English. Banyak, mm. there are a lot. Uh, get yourself more exposed to the language. Uh, go to tuition if it helps. Yep. Uh, whatever, they do private classes, one-on-one with teachers. Yep. The idea is apa yang kita boleh buat untuk membantu diri kita untuk um, maju dalam mm, English betul whatever we can do kita buat saja. and remember that English is a lifelong skill it's mm-hmm. something that we will always improve on and we'll always improve our lives as well betul so it is yeah, right. you're right it is, it is especially and that's why you tahu lah nak jadi cabin crew ni pun the most important is English, English. it's actually in the criteria as a rule if you look at uh, yes. your height your weight everything mm-hmm. BMI semua Proficiency in English. Yeah. Dan, dan saya English. selalu kongsi dengan orang nampak macam, yalah, Bazaar dengan sikit pandai lah bahasa Inggeris. Hmm. Tak, sebenarnya saya selalu kongsi sebab hmm. ramai kawan-kawan saya yang, yang kurang berminat bahasa Inggeris ni. 
kan bahasa-bahasa penjajah katanya kan <laughs> uh, so tak payahlah nak tahu sangat but actually I belajar daripada movie hmm. English yeah. movie yang ada subtitle English I tak buka Brilliant. subtitle Melayu yeah. yeah. sebab I akan tahu macam ni dia sebut dan apa perkataan tu kalau yang saya tak faham kalau pakai hmm. komputer saya stop saya buka dictionary lah hmm. uh, kalau Betul. yang saya faham saya terus faham lah kan dan yang kedua daripada lagu Ha, sebab tu kalau ramai tahu saya suka lagu-lagu orang putih Apa ha. suka lagu-lagu penjajah ni? Tak baik lah Bukan Because uh, untuk kita menakluki sesuatu negara tersebut Kita kena fasih dan hebat bahasa dia Betul. Boleh kita sama-sama boleh maju Ya yeah, itu ha. untuk perfahaman Untuk you lebih fluent uh, Masa during my uh, academy Malaysian mm-hmm. Academy mm-hmm. This one instructor bagi tahu mm-hmm. Tips untuk you uh, fasih fluent You think in English, not Betul. think. Hmm. You think English and you speak in English. Deliver in English. Uh, itu itu one of my tips I bagi dekat uh, student I dekat uh, one of college tu. Itu sajalah macam macam uh, macam you cakap kan. Yeah. Baca buku, tengok <coughs> tengok apa? Tengok, tengok movie, movie and then tengok yeah. subtitle. Dengar lagu. Uh, and then sekarang uh, I tengok budak-budak muda sekarang, just youngster sekarang. Dia tengok vlog oh. Hmm. Dia tengok vlog So the English dia tu Accent dia tangkap Daripada vlog-vlog yang Dia tengok yeah, yeah, Itu yeah. macam uh, okay. okay It's good juga It's kan good juga. Uh, 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 uh. Dia dengan slang-slang Saya dia cakap Dia boleh tahu kan <laughs> Dia boleh ada banyak slang pula uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Dan dan uh, uh, Saya tak tahu uh, Nak promote juga aku Tak tahu Abang abang masuk tak Toastmaster uh, Toastmaster yeah. Tak pernah Dekat akademi uh, tak ada, 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 ada. Uh. So I think Toastmaster Salah satu dekat akademi uh, Malaysia Airline hmm. Membantu saya untuk Bercakap jadi kepada siapa yang Betul. nak belajar bercakap pergi yang masuk penting kan, master class. Mesti ada minat lah. Mesti ada minat dan usaha, 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 usaha. Minat dulu. Minat, minat. Minat penting dan datang usaha tu dia datang sendiri bila ada minat. Sama, kena sama. Minat ha. yang dalam, kalau usaha yang you, dalam. Kalau you orang dengar, you orang orang bercakap bahasa Inggeris sikit, you tutup je. Ha, ah, itu maknanya lah. susah lah. You susah lah. No, no, but I, I think what you're saying is absolutely right. I think I want to help add on to that, okay? Because you said yang penting is minat. Mm. And then usaha, right? But also I want to remind you that, I'll give you an example, yeah? The brain is a mm-hmm. very amazing tool, yeah? The brain, kita, otak kita ni, our brain cannot understand the negatives. It doesn't know the difference. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. One perfect example. Don't think of goreng pisang. Then I think about goreng pisang. Okay. okay. Now you, I, but I just say don't. So you see, your brain cannot comprehend the negative. Yeah. So as pilots, we always learn this, yeah. Okay. When the junior pilots, kita kena el- el- elakkan awan lah. We have to find find a way around it. Kita kena don't, don't hit the don't hit the cloud. Don't hit the cloud. Don't hit the cloud. What do you think is going to happen? They're going hit to hit the cloud. The cloud. <laughs> Experienced pilots will go. Kita kena cari lubang. Let's find clear air. Clear air. Where's the open space? Cari lubang. Then what's going to happen? You're going to find clear air. Yeah. So it's it's how you look at your narratives. Whenever you set a narrative for yourself, your brain is a very important tool. Even skiers know this as well. Kata, okay, they're coming down, they're skiing, 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 right? Don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree. What's going to happen? Boom. They're going to hit a tree. <laughs> But they're looking, you ask the skiers, will be like, hey, let's go and find the snow, find the snow, find the snow, go on snow, go on snow. They'll always go on the snow. So now that we've learned that it's more than just usaha, it's also understand that your brain needs to understand that what you want is what you ask for. But I think yeah. not that social where they, they they talk about if you want something you have to work for it and fight for it and think about it because most of the time they're not kerja 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 je but they're just working for the sake of working because they want to usah towards something but they don't know what they're usahing about what they're working for they don't know they don't have that belief. For me, when I started my like my dream of becoming a pilot, I always told myself I want to fly, I want to fly, I want to fly. Then for four tahun, three four tahun, CK, I wanted to fly. It's been 40 years. Oh, sorry, 26 years. <laughs> But I'm already flying. So Alhamdulillah, your brain plays a very important role in how you bring your yourself up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. Good. Ah, uh, ini uh, dalam I punya podcast. Uh, favorite uh, topics is mm. about uh, kisah-kisah mistik, kisah-kisah seram. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I, 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 I don't know. I want to share. I, I sebenarnya I ragu-ragu. 
Ay, nak, nak, nak tanya pasal ah. okay. Pilot ada Kisah okay. seram Kisah seram Kisah seram Kopik tu dah besar Macam je. ada banyak No wait wait <laughs> Okay okay Jack, Guys guys Okay you also know I'm also a radio DJ right yeah. Okay so let me just Move to the whole radio DJ part lah Because takkan pasal aviation ni It's a very control uh, It's fantasy yeah. Yeah. But Let me tell you a story That I will remember Till the day I Kenal tak um, Zaman Hits FM Dengan era yeah, okay, yeah. Zaman dulu Masa I kerja dengan Astro uh, I was working on Hits FM Bila kita start as a DJ radio Kita kena start daripada Kerja shift dia panggil graveyard shift huh? which is a shift dari pukul 12 tengah malam hingga pukul 6 pagi shift kubur <laughs> shift kubur it's called graveyard shift ok ok <laughs> you, you guys lah nama kan tu uh, we, we name it graveyard shift it lah okay, and maksudnya you, tak ada orang listen <laughs> graveyard which, je dengar no. which means that yeah, uh, timing tu timing, oh, timing tu lah. lah semua tidur yang 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 tidur bangun lah yeah, tidur bangun lah. timing, timing uh, hantu tu okay. hantu lah ok so masa zaman dulu uh, I think now the studio Astro ni terletak di atas camp Uh, I don't want to get it But you know lah Okay okay Anyway anyway. Ni awak esok dulu tahu lah You are sick in your Okay so Every night The 12 hingga nampak Memang best kerja radio ni Because 12 o'clock You get the callers Yang kata Hi how are you Tiga petang yang bawa lori Yang kerja kat Terengganu They will always call in the station Because they want to keep them We want, They want us to keep them company yeah. And we want them to keep us company Kalau tak kita Dua-dua <laughs> tidur <laughs> Okay So I remember Pukul tiga pukul empat pagi kan, I kat radio Radio Hits FM yeah. I tengah macam I'm, I'm speaking on Hits And then sebelah I ada studio Era FM Adi Fashla Juraimi namanya Hi Adi, how you doing? Yang AF akan lima tahun Okay, so Adi and uh, Until this day Adi, you're watching You comment below please Okay, because uh-huh. I know you remember He was there I was here And between us Ada pathway and ada glass Okay, so studio kita sini Saya Hits FM Dia Era FM, Era FM sini Okay Pukul 3 pagi, 4 pagi We're just talking We're doing our stuff We're talking to our callers Suddenly we saw a white figure Walk from here Walk <laughs> okay, but oh, just walking, really? just a white figure macam orang. In the orang. middle of the country. In the middle of the country. Okay, dua-dua country. Okay, jap, jap, jap. Okay, zaman dulu, pukul 3, 4 pagi, yang ada cuma engineer ataupun engineer, itu saja. Engineer meaning that katakan ada dead air ataupun radio station katakan dia tutup because orang tu pemain lagu ke apa, engineer akan dengar, ah, itu engineer. Tapi nobody else Because Pukul 3 pagi Siapa lah nak kerja DJ radio yang on air Macam kita yang baru start Ataupun DJ radio RFI Ataupun engineer saja, right? So pukul 3 ke 4 pagi I saw a white figure Just walking Okay jap Masa tu I turn We turn it to, to see what it was lah kan Adi pun turn We both look each other Dua-dua muka pucat Dua-dua tahu What happened We never spoke about it ever again. Sampai hari ni. Eh, komen below Adi. <laughs> Thank you. Serious. Yeah. And this is just some of the stuff lah. There are so many other stuff lah. Kerja kat radio because that area kan, you know. So, there you go man. So, this is the... Yeah. Nak jadi DJ radio? Ha. Yeah. 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 Jadi oh DJ pun kena <laughs> DJ pun kena bang. Nah saya baik tak kena, tak tak kena Diorang datang masuk studio main lagu ah, kan. Ah, main lagu. Where oh. is my song? Oh <laughs> my, you know. Staying alive, Intipado. staying alive, <laughs> staying alive. Nah, nasi. Okay, uh, saya nak saya nak saya nak kita uh. sebab ke captain ada kat sini. Hmm. Nah saya pun tak tak fasih sangat sebenarnya. Kita kalau ikut pada internet ni dia panggil a uh, formatic alphabet. Nah tu formatic alphabet. Ya A A alpha B bravo A apple B untuk B. Sekarang uh, rasa dia boleh ke nak test Abang Zaru ingat lagi ke tak? Wow. Tapi saya akan bagi A B C ah, okay, D. Okey boleh. Kita cuba. Aha. Uh-huh. Mbak Okey. Okay. Langgar aja. Dan untuk korang pun tahu juga sebab kalau orang tanya benda ni takkan aviation dengan military je pakai macam ni kan. Ah, ha, yes, military. Yeah. Tapi sekarang pun elok pakai banyaklah nombor plate engkau apa? PWT so kita tak tak sebut kan. Ah, ha, <laughs> Penang. <laughs> wilayah. Wilayah. Terengganu. Kan? Yeah. Lepas tu boleh sampai ke ai ai apa ah? Ai apa ah? Ha, tak tahu. So hari ni we learn something sebab ada captain kat sini okay. lah. Captain yeah. banyak kali pakai uh, dia cakap-cakap dengan tahu semua. Hmm. Kita akan dengar dia cakap kan. Okey, jom. Okay, boleh? Sudah so, bersedia? Ha. Uh. Okey. A eh? Alpha B Bravo C Charlie D Delta E Echo F Foxford oh, G Gulf H Hotel I India J uh, uh, <laughs> Juliet Wow K Kilo L Lima Ooh. Wow, wow. M Mike N uh, N bar N M N N Ah bang come on bang N M N bulan lepas 
Bulan lepas, bulan lepas, bulan lepas. What is oh November? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oscar. Apa saja kapten yang dapat menyesal? Of course, ada lagi. Okay, P. P. Okay, apa, apa, apa? Tolong bagi, pa, bagi. Pa, Papa 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 ah, Papa So kau nak bayar pakai pinang ni Pakai papa eh uh, Q uh, Q bag Salah huh? Ya ke? Kat sini Q bag ah. ah. Bagus Bagus It's pronounced K bag Ah K bag K bag Yes K bag Pronounce K bag Nice to know Nice to know <laughs> Betul tu Pronounce K bag Betul kat situ tulis K bag Bukan Q bag Bukan Q bag uh-huh. hmm. Okay tapi kalau sebut K, kalau orang Malaysia dia tulis K pula tadi. Elok dah sebut Q lah kan? Q. 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 Okay, R. Romeo. S. Sierra. T. Tango. U. U. Abang U, bang. Come on, bang. Umbrella. <laughs> yes. Yes, betul eh? <laughs> tak ada, salah. Salah. Kata okay, benda U, kata. Uniform. Yes. Yes. Okay, abang. Okay, V. Okay. Ingat balik lah, uniform. V. Ha? V. Victor. Betul. W. Whiskey. X X-ray Okay, Captain Z Y, y. Yankee Ha, Yankee korang Dan okey lah abang Z Zulu Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah Okay, K-Bag K-Bag lah ha? Ha, K-Bag Papa November aku lupa tadi uh-huh. Tak apa bang okay, okay lah Ada sebab uh, tu kita ada Captain kat sini uh, So okay semua orang lah. boleh belajar Tapi jangan test aku, aku lagi tengok pada kau Jangan <laughs> Okay, uh, bila bercakap pasal safety, uh, you bagi tahu tak you punya simulator setiap berapa bulan and then uh, you yeah. punya you apa? So, safety. untuk bagi tahu betapa okay. pentingnya safety there's a lot of, as a pilot. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, apa yang kita cakap tadi memang banyak <coughs> a lot of uh, fun, a lot of laughter, a lot of, mm. uh, memang best lah kita, kita cakap. Mm. It's, it's, it's been a pleasure, right? But you must remember, aviation is like any other professional uh, like course or any other professional job it requires a high amount of professionalism mm-hmm. so there's a lot of jokes aside that say that as pilots ni kita selalu kerja kita tahu kita akan kerja selama 6 bulan sahaja reason being because every 6 months pilots mm-hmm. will go into a simulator and they can get checked dia kan dia kena hantam dia bagi engine failure lah the fire lah passenger mengamuk lah dia something dalam simulator tu mm-hmm. Kalau the pilots cannot perform or cannot deliver up to the safest standards, grounded. Grounded oh, tak ada gaji. And then they can pergi retest, retrain, sampai you up to the minimum standard. And in aviation, the minimum standard is the higher standard. I give you example. Nak pass exam, bukan 70 macam SPM, mm-hmm. bukan 80. Tapi, eh, no. 90% ke atas. What aviation industry is saying in general is, there is no room for error. Mm-mm. Because we also know you're human The reason why it's not 100% is because Most of the times bila I buat exam I kata eh Alamak kau tanya soalan macam ni I know the answer Tapi kau try selit 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 I cannot yeah. lah So they give That's why they say 90 to 100 mm-hmm. Because they want to say Do you understand the concept or not? Are you unsafe? No It's because I try to weasel my way through For example mm. You know So that's why they, they've ra- They raised the standard The minimum standard And in the mi- minimum standard of aviation It is the safer standard So dalam grading, if you become uh, going to training or flight training or even cabin crew training, there's always a certain level, right? Mm-hmm. So there's a level of safety, comfortability, uh, and then it goes to uh, uh, like uh, guest experience level because as long as you are safe, that's the best. And then there are levels where you can improve safety. That means something that we as a community tak tahu lagi, we'll give you a higher grade to it. Because, eh, hey, that's a good idea lah. Katakan engine failure ni happen, you did this, kita patut buat ni, you SOP, fantastic. Tapi you went above and beyond. Example lah, ada kapal nak berlanggan dengan you, dia panggil TKS, TKS. Yeah. So, hmm. kita ada procedure kita follow di mana dua-dua kapal akan do that procedure Call so they can, they can elakkan. Mm-hmm. Tapi there are other ways that you can do to improve safety. Kita can turn on the seat belts, we can buka our lights, we can mm. look outside. There's other things that Walaupun kita buat the the minimum best stuff that keeps it safe, we can do other stuff like turn on the seat belt. So orang yang kat belakang tu, katakan crew tengah jalan nak serve hot coffee, they can sit down. Yeah. Because we are anticipating that the aircraft is going to vroom ke, vam ke, we're going to do something. So these are the ways that we are always tested every six months. If we cannot meet the minimum requirement of safety, grounded. Grounded. Grounded tu maksudnya tak boleh fly ya? Tak boleh fly, tak boleh earn lah. Tak ada gaji lah. Tak ada gaji, tak ada hours. Hmm. Tak ada apa sebagainya. But here's the thing. A lot of pilots also, a lot of cabin crew also, they always fear 
these, te- these checks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now remember in social psychology, we learned that the reason we fear something is not because uh, it is something that, 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 that brings us, uh, like macam come to a point that, eh, kita fear ni lah, uh, takut lah, is it going to reduce my performance? No, it's not. Mm-hmm. Do you know that fear is actually very important for us because mm-hmm. fear gives us this release of adrenaline mm-hmm. to perform better. Pernah tak ada kita dengar macam, eh, bila kita sampai exam time kan, we always, we outdo ourselves we try and do mm-hmm. our best we study longer and everything kalau tak ada that amount of fear that minimum fear okay, kita kan we, we we're not going to push that you know so that's yeah. why okay. in aviation we need to always uh, keep ourselves on the toes because complacency is a killer yeah. kalau kita rasa ala biasa lah no problem tak payahlah buat ni selalu i buat aje tak payahlah someone can die So in aviation, they're always tested to the highest of the standards every six months to make sure that you're always being consistent with safety. Yeah, right. setahun dua kali bang. Yes, mm. minimum. minimum. Minimum, betapa ketatnya yang uh, prosedur yang harus dilalui oleh setiap pilot untuk memastikan keselamatan anda dalam setiap penerbangan. Mm. Alright. Sedap pula bang benda ni. Yeah. Ini nah. macam jelly-jelly. Okay. It's available on board on an hmm. AirAsia flight. Dah ada. Abang kena rasa kot, abang masa mango. It's called NUMS. Okay. Macam. Sambil-sambil tu, hmm. adalah persoalan. Hmm. DM juga tanya saya. Ya. Yeah. Dekat dalam flight, dalam hmm. aircraft, seat mana yang paling selamat? <laughs> seat mana paling Ma- selamat? Kalau you dapat so, jawab soalan tu, apa yang nak jawab okay, kata? I wouldn't say seat paling selamat, tapi seat paling comfortable <laughs> maybe. Yes. Uh, so, ada tau soalan okay, macam tu. Ada tau. Okay lah, tak tahu lah. No, the reason that the reason they have that question is because they do air crash investigation. Ah. Lah, tengok ni lah, dia kata probability ah. lah. But it's not true. Because yeah. the right the idea is, the whole plane is safe. safe. Okay. okay. And then they, they, they're trying to find a reason to create fear. They want Betul. to create fear because it gives them, okay. Do you know why people create fear? They want to create fear because it gives them some form of uh, uh When they raise themselves up by creating fear in someone else, they put that someone else down. So they, they, they it's because of their low self-esteem. If you yeah. study social psychology, it's all because of low self-esteem. Because they're uncertain. When they're uncertain, they don't know. They don't know the variable. They become very fearful. Yeah. So to improve fear, there's this thing called courage. You need to work on improving your courage. And courage happens through education, through experience, through exposure. So about this question, they kata, hey, I want to fear this aeroplane because if that, this, this seat is going to be very dangerous. It's not true at all the whole seats are, are, are safe but the most the most uh, comfortable, comfortable is always by the wing where the center of gravity is Ah. Wing Window hatches lah Tapi seat tak boleh Wing so Not really. only that Then tak boleh tukar keluar Because link block Wing block ah. Ah. But again the, it, It's just very it's Talking about very Minor Very lah. minor je But very if you minor. ask The best ah. Ah, Macam out of 100 Maybe 99% Itu je it's very, very minimal je uh, uh, Soalan jujur uh, Seat Captain dalam cockpit selesa tak? Very. <laughs> extremely. It has to be. Because we sit there, either we, I drop you in Hong Kong, I have to come back. Kau jangan main main eh. Nak kena come back, so my seat need to be ah, comfortable. Ada lah. ah, yeah. ergonomi sikit lah. Ah. Ah. Boleh recline tak boleh, seat captain? Boleh. Boleh, boleh recline? Boleh, boleh turn? Uh, no, cannot turn. No. Oh, only the jump seat boleh. The, jump seat in the 330, boleh. jump seat boleh. Boleh turn. Yeah. And then uh, uh, nak tahu juga nah. captain okey kalau kereta I pakai steering mm. yang captain punya lesen uh, minda ha uh, oh, <laughs> minda <laughs> yang No, okay. So the, the misconception, <laughs> okay. the misconception is pilot ni tak buat apa semua call autopilot yang terbang. Autopilot on. Take. So the oh. reason, the reason why I say Minda is because everything kita do in the plane is all pre-programmed through our flight management computer lah. Okay, so mana macam route ke kita bukan follow ways, tapi kita guna GPS kan. Yeah. But ada flight track yang kita kena jalan follow and everything, right? Okay. So what happens is for pilots kita cuma take charge of the Taxi ke on the ground Taxi yeah, okay. Taxi. And then Taxi tangan macam ni ke Tangan macam ni ke uh, Yang kereta kalau, sekarang uh, Sebelah kiri Dia macam oh, tiller dia, dia macam uh, tiller, dia macam tiller okay. yes. So kalau kita katakan This numbs ni Is the control Kita macam ni je ah. Okay It's kecil very, 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 Because yes, what we're yes. controlling Is we're controlling The nose wheel kat depan So Betul. ke arah kiri kanan okay. ah. And then bila kita Rotate mean Bila kita take off Okay thrust up You know V1 Tengok, rotate Tengok tangan gerak Kiri ah, kanan dah ah, Sekejap je Bila naik V1 rotate nah, Positive climb Gear up Autopilot Tik Tunggu lah 4, 6, 8, 12 jam Flah Lepas tu Nak landing Okay Klik, 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 klik klik. Empat saat Lapan saat Kedebang dah Dah Kedebang But before that Throughout the whole way Bukan kita duduk sana macam ni 
oh, television. Oh, no, it's not. Not at all. Everything kita kena guna minda. Why I keep on saying again and again why we fly using our mind is because we need to know three steps ahead before where we want to go. Betul. Banyak people have this misconception macam kita bawa kereta kan. Nak pusing kiri, pusing kiri. No. no. Itu bawa kereta, bawa kereta terbang. Before you pusing kiri nak tahu. Nak pusing kiri kenapa? Ada weather ke kat sana? Ada orang ke kat sana? Uh, hmm. Apakah reason we want to turn left? Kenapa turn tak left. pusing kanan? I'll give you example. You guys are captains. Okay, for example. Uh-huh. Okay, kat tengah-tengah tu ada awan. Okay, ada awan. Okay, ada awan. Ada awan. Okay, awan. Okay, awan. Okay. 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 awan. Okay. 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 awan tu akan datang closer and closer. 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 Han lagi kiri, kiri, kanan? Kanan, kiri. Langgar. Uh, okay. Uh, kiri, kanan? Mana yang clear? Kanan, kiri, kiri. kanan. Kiri, eh, kanan. Kiri, kanan. Kiri, kanan. Kenapa? Dua, <laughs> dua, dua pun free. Dua, 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 dua clear. clear. Okay. Kita pergi kanan lah. Pergi kanan. Kenapa? Saya, saya, why? Uh, why? 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 Pergi kanan. Uh, pergi kanan. Uh, selesa kanan. <laughs> okay, you like right. Okay, no problem. Because he's right all the time. Okay, you? Ya, yeah, saya uh, langgar je lah kot. Langgar je. Okay, uh-huh. jangan. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Langgar je lah. Si back on. Lepas it's, tu, it's, serving tak payah serving lah. But he's right. Here's the thing. There's no right or wrong answer. Why I'm asking these questions? Because as a captain, there's more to it than that. Sebelum ka- awan tu dah kat sana dah, uh-huh. we have to know on the ground mana awan tu, mana angin datang, where is it coming from, oh, where is the air traffic clear that means uh, jalan raya kat atas saudara tu where's the lanes because katakan you nak pergi kanan tapi banyak uh, apa, banyak planes akan Plane. turun. turun kita so nak climb boleh. we know we cannot climb there so we have to go to the left so then you as a captain you have to always ask yourself okay tapi angin blow daripada kiri ke kanan so awan tu akan gerak kanan so kalau I gerak ke kanan I Nanti. dah lah akan kena traffic lepas tu awan akan datang sini you know tapi he sometimes could be right also eh daripada uh, Uh, masuk kanan ke traffic ke apa Baik saya pergi through the 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 what the the, the awan the, the because awan. the awan is just water I and mean, he's right also kita baru take off alah biarlah sekejap uh, for, uh, daripada bikin sikit. you know uh, the, nah, so all this kind this uh, is a job of pilot always yeah. use your mind never bukan pergi sana minta kopi je apa no yeah, no betul uh, yo uh, dia berfikir makan pasta sedap dia, yang dipanaskan tu sikit sikit berfikir monitor uh, buat A decision yeah. Zaro Zaro pernah tak You flew from KL to London Ever wonder what the, the pilots are doing Pernah tak huh? I'm flying KL to London Okay I, I, 12 I, I, jam Pilot buat apa Ah, yeah, That's why Dia tengok I nampak selalu lah Bila I hantar drinks kan huh. Kadang Dia tengah Bercakap Bercakap Communicate okay. dengan ATC Okay uh, Kadang I, Dia tengok Picit-picit button Okay uh, Sometimes uh, Dia tak ada buat apa Dia termenung Uh, ada sometimes right, okay. ada sometimes tu dia tengah gosok-gosok jam okay. sambil-sambil dia tengok dia bukan gosok jam sampai ke landing tau dia tengok Panjang radar kau so ever kan uh, dia whatever lah macam tu ada juga yang uh, sambil-sambil tu dia tengok handphone hmm. tapi monitor dia semua macam tu lah lebih kurang lah Zaro is right most of the times pilots from point A to point B katakan kira ke London 12 jam kan most of the time what they need to do is they need to prepare if something goes wrong what happens next and hmm. it's easy said than done because every time kita bergerak daripada katakan KL ke London kita guna route uh, India kita guna route Jeddah for example right we need to know airport ni buka ke airport ni weather okay ke uh, so we have to always remember that the airplane has to maintain one hour distance flying on a single engine to land in case an emergency happens yeah it is by law to know. and of course it goes a little bit further because some airplanes because engine dia bagus sangat we can go we can extend that one hour to two hours for example so that ring of where you have to be from an airport can go bigger and bigger kalau tak <coughs> we have to fly all through land je tapi pernah tak you tengok K- uh, flights daripada KL ke uh, Los Angeles they fly over the North Atlantic ke over Pacific kan so they have certain accreditation certain um, authority to do it right but all that time the pilots have to make sure that if something happens they have a strategy a backup strategy G yeah. and maybe even a third strategy. I don't want to get too technical but I need to know if they fly over Katan Everest, what is the obstacle strategy? Kita kena kita nak you have to descend mountain bang. Mountain. Terrain bukan terrain, terrain. What's your strategy? Okay, lepas you pass this part no return, okay, now uh, nak land kat sini snowing. Where you you got to always find other airport. So always for the like 12 hours from KL to London so many things to do. Tapi people uh, the the passengers always think alah dia orang tengok movie aje. It's not true at all. Banyak ha. benda dia orang buat. Banyak banyak tons. benda. That's why it's a long job. I've actually flown KL to Melbourne, sampai Melbourne knock out, literally knock out. Work Betul. so hard because yelah you you guna minda penat oh. That's why you fly with your ha. mind. Kena Betul. prepare lagi. Wow. Dia tu dah prepare. Memang wow sangat. Enam sini. Wow. Eh, wow. <laughs> Dan cerita wow. tadi pun wow. wow Dan pun kita wow. pun sudah wow. wow. No no. One and a half hours already. Yes. 
Another Which is uh, banyak <laughs> banyak benda yang banyak benda yang baru kita belajar ini hari. Hmm. Which is uh, kalau by right ada uh, kalau ikutkan flight London lagi 10 jam 10 patut jam tapi uh, okay, kita terpaksa berhenti di sini. Di sini sahaja. Sahaja. Mungkin kalau anda rasa tak puas, komen dekat bawah. Saya yeah. nak Captain JFK lagi. Please, oh, eh, please, please Air please, Asia. Please, I want Asia. another episode with JFK. Boleh Comment ya. dekat bawah. Borak dalam geli. Sebelum ni, sebelum ni kak, kopi. sebelum ni kak Ros. Mungkin kita ke Red Q jumpa JFK pula. Oh, <laughs> anda kapal lah bang. Anda kapal tu bang. Kamu ada flight bawa <laughs> you. <laughs> kita lekat semua ni bang dekat panel-panel tu. <laughs> Simulator pun simulator lah bang. <laughs> okay. Kira on lah kan. Okay, okay tapi uh, dah, dah, dah kita nak akhir-akhir kan. Nanti yes. Abang nanti minta tolong lah kapten buat landing announcement ha. dalam geli bang. Okay, sebelum oh. sebelum ha. dia buat tu. Ha. Okay, 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 itu bang. itu closing kita. Closing kita. Kita nak ucap terima kasih lah kapten. Oh, terima kasih. Thank you so Thank you, much Men, apa, menghadirkan diri datang ke sini uh, tak kerja ini kan hmm. tapi ini kira kerja juga dia pakai uniform, yeah, pakai uniform uh, untuk ya, dia juga terima kasih kepada Air Asia kerana membenarkan sesi podcast ini untuk dijalankan dengan uniform bukan senang tau bukan senang yeah, bukan senang This is terima kasih podcast terima kasih borak dalam geli saja okey yeah. uh, insyaallah dan sikit ada apa-apa nak bagi tahu Terima kasih banyak you inspire lots of people betul and correct I hope Thank you become uh, hero di, di hati semua orang oh, dan uh, hero di hati semua anak-anak muda so yes. berazam uh, ada mana bercita-cita menjadi pilot dia tak akan putus di situ saja dan mereka yes. terus bekerja keras untuk menjadi sama macam captain JFK hmm. alright captain thank you guys teruskan dengan your landing what? announcement landing announcement sebab Borang kita nak tutup dah jadi. let's go go Hi guys, it's JFK, your captain. We'll be landing in about 10 minutes from now. You just sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the flight. Thank you again for coming here today and listening to the podcast with Zarul and um, CK Faisal. I look forward to your next flight with us as well. And uh, just to let you know that if the landing goes get a bang, I'm sorry, lah, gang. I'm going to blame you on the weather. But if it goes nice and smooth, you are most welcome. I'll see you on board on your next AirAsia flight. And thank you again. Okay guys, thank you for watching uh, Dan kepada yang belum subscribe, sudi-sudikan untuk subscribe Share, share Sehingga video yang seterusnya Assalamualaikum, peace out And cut Wow